Hello gamers and welcome to episode 316 of the Super Ultra Podcast Arcade. I'm one of your hosts, Daniel Nicholson, and with me is my co-host, Dominic Stallworth. What's going on this week, Dominic? Not just been a week of pre-Super Bowl stuff, which I've stayed away from. I've really stayed away from most, for majority of it. Yeah. This one time I went down, TV was on, I was in the kitchen, and I think there were some kids asking players questions which i was like oh man I almost got i didn't <laughs> in a whole week before seeing crap because i'm going to see enough crap before right before the game a bunch of singing and shit i know that and i hate that um because i just want to see the game i'm that pompous surface circumstance stuff i don't care mm-hmm. i don't care about it and um like yeah uh, like uh the whole national anthem thing don't care yeah. uh the whole singing and just doing special event stuff don't care. I just want the game. That's Who's all doing I want. the halftime so show this year, Dom? The weekend. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, apparently, Miley Cyrus supposed to be doing something too, but mm. I don't know if that's for the halftime show or if that's something before. Uh, I'm not sure. I just saw like something her showing her off her butt and doing some <laughs> long thing. And Sounds like Miley Cyrus. Saying, like for the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um. But other than that, I mean, uh, not really much really of interest for me i mean we had snow yeah we did uh but it's been melted away we uh yeah, see, today was downright today warm I, yeah yeah i was i was really warm today so i was like darn man the heat must be warm <laughs> like oh no it's not uh but yeah so a lot of stuff melted away but but i know up north they begin a lot more snow mm-hmm. and then it's heard it's like this big wind chill supposed to be happening over like the, um, the northwest um but they'd be all right. Uh, other than that, nah, nothing like that's going on. Anything going on with you? Nah, just same. Dealing with the weather. Shoveling snow is, is one of my least favorite things. But it went relatively quick. You know, it was nice that nice kind of wet packed snow, so it moves easily. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's a good thing. I mean, it got a little icy at night, mm-hmm. but other than that, I mean... Like I was glad whatever whoever cleaned the parking lot because when I went to take trash out one day I was like oh man it's probably a full of ice over here but it was actually pretty it, it actually was pretty good it was That's really good. not icy at all yeah, normally honestly. it's a fucking like, skate oh. rink over there yeah yeah well ever since they did they did but as people come out to work the water has drained better oh nice over that part so uh-huh. the ice doesn't spread I think it still get icy at certain parts but. It's not the whole section. Yeah. Okay. That's an ice rink. Uh, well, other than that, let's see. Um, yeah, yeah. we always talk about Super Bowl. Anything out um, of the Bowl? Oh, I have no idea, man. <laughs> I, 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 somebody, I think I heard somebody said um, something about Matt, and I, I don't know if they play. I didn't look it up. I didn't. I don't care when it's real people. I dare, me, Actually, I am more interested if there's a video game, but uh-huh. still... I I totally forgot about it, honestly. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, they were doing something. I, I was kind of curious, but then I was like, ah, who cares? I've just been watching maybe some basketball. Wizards still suck. They suck, but they won, they won in their last game. But it's basically just almost like a show of the talented players they have on the team, which is really one of them, Bill, mm-hmm. and can they trade them? That's really what it is. Almost <laughs> like a showcase. I was going to say, show our prize is, pony over here. What can we get for you? He is the hot. Yeah, he's the highest scorer in the league. I mean, he was kind of – he was. I, th- I don't know if he ended up being the highest scorer last year. Mm-hmm. I know he was up there. And this year, I mean, he kind of is, but team's one of the worst. So yeah. it's what they can get for him. And then thing is, I'm realizing, like, man, I don't – like, I would rather watch shitty-ass Wizards than watch a good basketball game. <laughs> I think my interest in ba- <laughs> the NBA has really gone. Because it's like, if I'm yeah. not I'm – root, if I have no rooting interest, like, I'll, I can have the game more if I'm doing something, though. Like I've, I will have like what it was like the Brooklyn Nets playing the Clippers, and that was a great game. But I, but for some reason, I was like, oh, I kind of still want to watch the Wizards, so I had that <laughs> game on too. Like I, I, I had that on something else because I was like, I, I just don't, I, I don't care as much. Mm-hmm. Maybe see, I think it's really come down to that. I just think the Lakers are going to win regardless of what happens. So it's like. All this is meaningless. I, I, I almost feel like it's meaningless. I mean, it's not really meaningless as long as you just enjoy it. But for me, I, I think I'm not enjoying it. I'm just 
watching. I mean, I actually just like watching the Wizards, but even when they're shitty, I'm like just looking like complaining about them and like, oh, y'all suck. They say, why you didn't play defense and stuff like that? <laughs> and I still, I enjoyed that than watching the actual decent teams play. Yeah. Because even them, they're not even playing good basketball either. I mean, God, they play awful defense in some of these other teams. <laughs> just that they can get away with it because they have better players. Yeah. Where, uh, but like, what was the Warriors game last night I watched? Man, there was just no defense whatsoever. And I think it was funny what Charles, which I meant to look up. So I wanted to see somebody put up there what Charles Barkley said. He said something like about how these guys are playing. Because I think it was the the Mavericks are the worst, one of the worst three point shooting teams. I don't mm-hmm. know. They might be the worst, but or at least at the near the bottom. Um, and he said that they were shooting great last night, but he was like, but they took, but but thing is he was saying, wait a minute, they took that many three point shots. You're one of the worst in the league. Why are you still shooting threes? I mean, you're good now, but that's not that's just because you're hot tonight. Yeah. But why are you still shooting that many threes? And then the Warriors had all their big men, their big guys were hurt, so they went small. Mm-hmm. But the, the Mavericks didn't take advantage of it. They got this guy Porzingis who could just shoot over people. Right. But they didn't go low at all. I mean, they rarely went low. Sometimes they did, but it was rare. They were just shooting outside shots. And Warriors won. Warriors won with small ball without them taking advantage uh, at all of like just going down low. And I think even Charles said like, yeah, I watched this stupid ass basketball. Yeah. Is he talking about, like, seeing that clip now? Just... <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, oh, send me the link to that clip. So I, I, I want to see it. Okay. But um, yeah, it, I was like, yeah, that's ridiculous. I was like, I mean, look, I know the real accuracy is meaningless, ridiculous. Cause Mavericks are actually, and they are not doing well. So I'm thinking like, well, this can't like it's can't be that meaningless because you want to try to get back into the race. Mm-hmm. You're nine and twelve. They were nine and twelve, I think. So I'm thinking like, okay, you can uh you you might want to try to win this game. <laughs> so but nah, they end up losing because they played dumb where it was an obvious game they should win. Mm-hmm. So I have no idea. Like, I, I, I don't know. It is dumb. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. Y'all sit there and watch this stupid ass basketball just jack up threes all night. <laughs> and that's what it is sometimes. It's like, dude, I mean, I don't know, man. That, that ain't, it's not fun to watch sometimes. I mean, if you make it up a lot, then yeah. But you know what? It's like, come on, man. Especially you got some bigs. Get the ball low. Get yeah. your um, highest percentage shots. And definitely if you got, if they're going small and you got bigs that can move, Jesus Christ, you got the advantage. I'm sorry, because they're going to shoot threes, but your twos are going to have a higher percentage. You can shoot more twos than their threes. So it's, you're going to win that battle. And like, they, I don't know why they play that stupid, honestly. I don't know why they play that stupid. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's, I mean, that's the NBA. That's the NBA in a nutshell, basically, though. Uh, but I will say that these guys, like, yes, when people compare it to the old days, these guys are more talented than those guys because of it's a lot of reasons for that. I mean, people are playing basketball out the moon, mm. basically. I mean, you got the all you got AAU, you got all these basketball camps. Like, people are just focused on their craft. Like, people used to be like, "Hey, I play multiple sports," but some people do. But a lot of people they might just focus just on that sport and just play all their life. So that's compared to the old days. It wasn't like that. It wasn't all these camps of that and things of that nature for these guys like that to really uh, like build them up to, um, to be that great. So, it, yeah, it's more talented, but I don't know the style of basketball. I don't know if this is more fun. I mean, if this is all you're seeing, it's probably what is what it is, but I don't know. I want a little defense. I ain't saying you got to be like freaking just scoring just the 80s, but yeah. man, I mean, something. I mean, when you just see, like, you just know that, okay, they're scoring 120 points at like the Wizards. I'm like, if they can hold a team under 120 points, they got a chance. <laughs> but they rarely do that. They rarely do that. Yeah. Uh, and so that's what sucks. It's like, damn. And if you see a game that's like, like 101 to like 107 or 106, something like that, that's actually a low scoring game. And it's like, that's, <laughs> oh, man. 
this. This is a good defensive battle. Or or y'all suck at shooting. One one or the other. <laughs> I was gonna say these guys grew up playing NBA Live where there's no defense. But then I was oh, like, yeah. you know what? They haven't made an NBA <laughs> Live game in a long time. Some of these guys might be so young they don't even know what NBA Live is. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> they probably yeah, that's right. They probably didn't know. Is that man. like two K? No, like oh shit. <laughs> yeah. No, we know none of those other sports games yep. that used to be out. Would it be so many basketball games? Exactly. Uh, the I know in baseball, Orioles picked up a pitcher uh, who was who was a great pitcher. Okay. Uh, so uh, what's was his name? A great pitcher, King Felix. Yeah, Phoenix. Um, Darren, I, I know it's his, his King Felix. What's it? Damn, what is it? Felix Hernandez. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so he was great on the. Seattle Mar- um, Mariners, but Seattle Mariners just never had that team to really go for. So he always just didn't make the playoffs, but he was a great pitcher on that team. And now he's kind of just over the hill. So, I mean, at his stats right now, I believe they're good enough to be Hall of Fame stats, maybe. Oh, okay. At least on the cusp. I think they might be good. But now he's come to the Orioles. I'm like, oh, maybe get an overhill guy. <laughs> And I think my friend mentioned him. I said, man, he's going to get like, he's going to get killed in this ballpark, man. He's going to get so many, he's going to get dropped out of Cooperstown, man, because <laughs> he's going to give up so many runs and his ERA going to go up. Yeah. It's going to be like, oh no, he, he's not good enough for Cooperstown. <laughs> yeah. That's like, good as we thought. Like, yeah. I mean, he's not, he's over the hill. I mean, he hasn't been that good uh, in a few years now. Mm. So, like I even saw how even Mariners fans were rooting. They were happy he went to Atlanta last year, but the COVID happened, so he didn't play with them. Um, even when on that run, but he didn't want it because because of, of COVID. So now they're upset. He's on the Orioles because like, oh man, this is gonna ruin him. So they want him at least go to a decent team, you know, and just be like, hey, he's to be a good like four fifth pitcher. Right. But it was like, oh, the Orioles suck, man. He's gonna be. He's gonna have to play, <laughs> and he's gonna have to be like one of the top pitchers. Yeah, number one starter. He's gonna, <laughs> well, I don't know my number one, but uh, because we got a we got a decent number one now. Uh, I, I don't know if he's definitely number one. It's just that he's the one compared to who we have. Mm. Um, means John means, oh, okay. but yeah, it's yeah. I kind of like ah. Uh, I, mean, I hope he just comes back and does decent, but I'm afraid he's gonna be just like oh, he just he's gonna get ruined. Like his dad's gonna look so bad, so bloated for this year. It's like wow, that's that's what I'm afraid of. Um, I know nobody's going to. I don't. It's, and nobody's going to Cooperstown this year. Yeah, yeah, that's a song. Um, that. Yeah, and it looks like this could be the last year. Which I, I never understood the it being uh like a time limit. Like if you don't make it in this many years, you can't get in. Yeah, that's weird for baseball. Which I want to. I don't know. I don't think that's in all sports though. I know that's in baseball because I know Art Monk for the Redskins. Mm-hmm. He didn't get in, but it was a little while um, till he got in. And I'm thinking by it, like, do they have a time in football? Maybe they don't, um, which I'm thinking baseball is shouldn't. But I, I heard a reason of one guy. He said he he votes because he's a writer. And mm-hmm. he he said because, look, he knows that a lot of people took stories. That people use our argument. That's mm-hmm. fine. But I definitely know they did. They oh they took drugs. They took drugs. Roger Clemens and Barry Bonds right. definitely took something. Or Mark McGuire and them. They definitely took something. Now, you have the pitcher um, who was on the Diamondbacks and the Red Sox, what's his name? Kirk Schilling mm-hmm. and former uh, what, uh, Reckoning, the um, Kingdom <laughs> yes, Alamore. King, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Reckoning. 38 guy. Studios. Uh, yeah, uh, he now he didn't take a jux. The reason why he's not getting in uh, for a lot of people a is because of his, <laughs> well, 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 what he said too, I think it's not oh, just a Trump supporter say? Um, during the Capitol attacks. I think he was defending oh, those no. guys. I don't know if I saw I that. Think, and he was say saying things a, a, along the lines of basically like they weren't really Trump supporters there, like a conspiracy, like uh. they were Antifa, of course. That was really Antifa yeah, and stuff totally. like that. And I'm like, wow, I didn't, I didn't see, I didn't know nothing about this because I didn't hear nothing about Kirk Schilling or anything. Yeah. So when I saw about this to the guy, because um, talk about that, I was like, what? I say, really? Is he because well, he just said that 
for what the things he said and like uh, him with Trump. Mm-hmm. And I said, I saw, I looked it up. And I said, oh, damn, I, I can't blame him for not wanting to vote for him yeah. for that. And I was like, damn, man, Kurt Shetley, like I have his jersey. I had his jersey. <laughs> he, it I was got huge. It when they, she was huge. I, 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 because I, I was like, listen, I'm not like those traditional fans who are like, you hate everybody in the division, you know, and you like your team, but everybody's in the division, you have to hate them. I've never been that. Yeah. Like, except for the Cowboys, that's because of the rivalry. I never hated the Giants, and I never hated Philadelphia. I just didn't like them when I played them. Right. I mean, I mean, just like any team. I mean, it's not that I don't like you. I just hope you lose when I be playing against each other. I mean, just like any fan. But I never had disdain for them or hate. Now, some people do. I mean, that's your fandom, and that's fine. But I hate when people try to tell you how to be a fan. Because I saw people like, how do you root for? But I was rooting for Philly to beat the Patriots. And people's like, how are you Washington fans rooting for Philly? They're your rival. And I was like, I'm not playing them right now. Like, I, it's, I don't. They're my, yes, they're the division rivals, but in this, then I don't hate them like now. Like, I root for those teams to help me get ahead. But at this <laughs> point, it don't matter. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, out, the, I'm out the playoffs. Oh, oh, actually, I don't know. Did we make the playoffs that year? I forget. Um, Maybe we did. But either way, we're either not in the playoffs or I'm out the playoffs. It don't matter to me. Like, I don't care if Philly wins. It don't matter because somebody said, oh, that little Philly fan is going to be all gloating. I said, well, they, well, luckily I'm not in that space where I see them. Yeah. Honestly. Let them go out there and <laughs> so, eat their shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> I, and so I don't, just like with, um, the Red Sox, I was rooting for them to beat the Yankees when it first initially happened. Uh, like I was rooting for Red Sox to stop that curse. Yeah. A bambino. I didn't have a hate for Philly. I mean, I'm, I mean, I said Philly, Boston, I hate for Boston. Uh, so I I didn't I, I like the Red Sox so I was like I don't, I don't like these guys I don't they're they're rivals only when we, when the Orioles play them and like and the thing is we sucked so I didn't care I was like everybody's I guess everybody a fucking rival to me I don't give a damn I was <laughs> like we all suck that <laughs> sucked every, scared of everybody yeah so I was rooting for them to beat the Yankees and I, I like Kurt Schilling I liked yeah. him when he was on Diamondbacks too but yeah and he started so as an got, Oriole oh yeah that's right yes he yeah. did start as Oriole now I gotta burn his own. Um, Burn his jersey, dang! <laughs> and I got, I got a um, short. I got to do it online too, like everybody else did. Hell yeah! Like with Kaepernick's, like with Kaepernick's jersey and everything <laughs> like that. Or even like when um Ray Lewis did his two knees. Oh boy! How people in Baltimore <laughs> <laughs> now enough for the flag, enough for the flag all wrong. But that was good enough, still bad enough for those people. Um, and, <laughs> and they burned his jersey. So now I gotta he was go just do that. Praying down, yeah, he was praying though, and, and he. I got to burn Kurt Schilling's jersey. And I got posted online and say, oh, man, he was my hero. I mean, he was never my hero or anything. But, yeah. And that's the only jersey I ever gotten of a white man. <laughs> I never got. All my other jerseys are black people. Yeah. That's the only jersey I ever got of a white man. And he let and you he down. down. See? He let me down. You learned your let lesson down. now, down. Because I felt good, too. When he did a video game, he was like, I'm going to make uh-huh. a video game. I was like, oh, look. I'm supporting guys. passionate about that like thing. Video games. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's a piece of shit. Now I know he's a piece of shit. Damn. Cuts to 2018. He's back in QAnon conspiracies. <laughs> All right. See, so let's get to what we've been watching. So you didn't watch anything? No, just WandaVision. It's very good, but that's all I'm going to say about that. So you think you think it's very good? You think it's definitely it worth it's a watch? It's definitely. It's picking up now, especially these past two episodes have, have definitely gotten things moving okay so if the oh, if the sitcom stuff wasn't wait. really doing it for you uh, i think I yeah it was might might get there a little more oh, okay yeah, then i'll i'll wait a couple more and i'll probably watch it but yeah yeah this the sitcom stuff wasn't really doing it for me that's what was really killing it for me and then my friend said the same thing but i think he's been watching it i haven't asked him how he liked these few episodes though mm-hmm. um the I watched the little things, okay, uh, which is the Denzel, Jared Leto, and the guy from Mr. Robot, mm-hmm. and they are it's like a detective movie, a noir detective movie, um, basically along like movies like Seven, you know, um, not nowhere near as good as Seven. It, it is <laughs> okay. very just okay. I mean, no Seven is great though. I mean, yeah, that's, that's the bar. Is. 
Um, but um, it it's it's very average or maybe below average. Mm. I mean, I still find some enjoyment, but I would okay. recommend it to people. I just say like, hey, I mean, if you're like a big Denzel fan, yeah, I guess you just watch it. Or, well, see, I mostly deal with black people, so it's mostly about the Denzel. Mm. Nobody gives a damn about Jared Leto. Or I think I think robot. nobody really cares about him anymore either, too, because he's just so creepy. He's got like a cult or something happening. I don't know. No, okay. <laughs> I mean, he got nominated for that role in the Golden Globes. I think I saw. Oh, really? uh, okay. I didn't even look at all the nominations, but I just saw I just saw like a clip somewhere of someone like Jared Leto nominated, and I was like, oh, I mean, he was. I mean, he wasn't bad or anything. Mm. I mean, he was all right, I guess. But the movie overall wasn't that great. It was okay. It was okay movie. Like it was an okay movie, but it wasn't like a really great movie, which I I was kind of wanting. I really want something that was really like really good. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was just okay. Uh other than that, I don't think I watched anything else. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't watch anything else. So I guess we get to what we've been playing. So what you been playing, man? All right, so I played the Balan Wonderworld demo that you talked about last week, and yeah, I I agree, it's not very good at all. I, t- I was texting you as I was playing it, and I'm like, somehow this game feels stiff and also extremely loose at the same time. The jumps just feel bad, and yeah. the graphics are definitely weak. And even the stuff like you collecting trophies to play as Balan or whatever... All I saw of that, at least, I mean, maybe I didn't do all of it, but it was literally just like this still image of him. And then you get this like shadow coming in and you have to like hit the A button when they line up to to do a move on whatever he's fighting. It, it was very just lame as shit. Oh, um, really? Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> uh, and then just like all the costume stuff, like it didn't feel great to to manage that stuff like i would i would pick one up and then it would drop one that i was using because it yeah, switched out I, and i'm like wait a second let me let me choose which one i'm gonna drop or something at least like when you die in that costume or get hit with that costume you'll lose it right yeah and i don't know it just it just seems like a game that, but they really went basic yeah, with this. Like this feels like a very, like this felt like a game, of uh, like I was back from like, oh, you can lady get people who are working on a game and you're you're funding them uh-huh. like a, a GoFundMe or something, and like you 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 don't spend nothing great, but damn, but that game turned out a whole lot better than this game. And this is from a big studio. Yeah, yeah, and there was like so much praise for it too. I mean, I remember even being kind of kind of excited for it when I first saw it and like when the Nintendo directs or something, I was like, Oh, that looks like that could be cool. Like a nice cutesy little platformer. And you have all these different costumes you can collect and have different powers, but it's just, so it's like PlayStation one level platformer, but like not a good one. One of the like movie branded ones or something like that, like a movie tie in type thing. Yeah. I want to go how it compares to like SpongeBob. Yeah. It got me thinking because, uh, you know, we got Sphinx and the Curse of the Mummy not that long ago in the Xbox. I was like, I want to maybe go back to that and see if that plays like infinitely better than this. Or if I just like have this kind of weird like nostalgia goggles like, oh, yeah, that game plays fine. Oh, yeah. And, and t- oh, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Ty's definitely better than this. I don't know. Yes. It It's definitely rough. I, you know. Yeah, I wonder why. I'm just thinking, like this. I just because it's supposed to be from the it's supposed to be from the guy from Knights. Yeah, right. The Knights games that came on the um, Saturn, Mm -hmm. and uh, to me, it feels like it's a game definitely from that era. (laughs) Yeah, like, but too much though. Like it was supposed to be. This would be. uh, I wouldn't be calling a good Sega Dream, uh, Sega Saturn game, but (laughs) it would have been something yeah yeah you know <laughs> i mean i mean it probably would have been like oh this is not like no Mario 64 but it's it's something i mean i don't know yeah it's a little disappointing sega made it made an attempt yeah so well wait a minute but it was this is square enix though yeah right? no not yeah no. not with this game just like oh, oh yeah. hey they tried to do a the 
a Mario 64 type thing and it didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the Melee Tech. Yeah, exactly. And maybe it would have had some fandom back then. You yeah. know what? Maybe if they would have came out, this kind of game came out then, maybe there would have been, you know, like. Maybe people still talking, more appreciation. talking about Gex the Gecko, Dominic. So, you know. <laughs> Not but to you say know, the because, Gex isn't because good. Because it's just... Sega. But no, I'm just saying because it's Sega. Yeah. You know, people have more fun because of the brand name. Mm hmm. Because come on, I mean those Sonic games suck, and I've seen <laughs> games that are better than that, but they lo- they get lost in the sauce. But yeah. because that's Sonic, yeah. All right, so what else you played? All right, so on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, where uh, good game here, I played a bit of Cyber Shadow, which is that new like Ninja Gaiden. I don't know what what are those old games? Strider, maybe something yeah. like that. Yeah, Strider. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. A side was scrolling that was too hard for me to play. Um, yeah, I it looks get past good. First it's, level in those games. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this one I definitely feel uh, a little more confident, in, and I've definitely died a ton of times already. But I'm definitely getting further in it than I probably would have as a younger child. Um, yeah, so far it, it looks good. It's it's solid pixel art stuff. It reminds me a lot of the Messenger. Um, not. It's not open world in that way. It's not like Metroidvania. It's very linear. You're going through the levels, progressing, stuff like that. Um, They do give you options at like the save stations to pay more to make the save station either give you like more health. Well, most of the time they'll just regenerate your health, but they'll give you stuff like uh, whatever the, the special points you need to throw like shurikens or, um, you can get like a blade extension power up. You can actually pay to have it just pump those out. So if you die, you can get one there at that station, which is pretty cool. Like change of pace from these kind of games. Um, yeah, overall, not really much to say about it. I was intrigued because it was, uh, published by yacht club games are the ones behind, um, shovel Knight. So I was like, Oh, if they, they're putting their stamp of approval on this, I'll try it out. Especially since it's, free on game pass that's where i was playing on the pc i also played a little bit streaming to my phone on x cloud whatever they're calling it game pass streaming or whatever and it actually worked really well i was surprised because my past experiences with that haven't really worked out too well um okay i was playing with a playstation 4 controller because i don't have an xbox one that has bluetooth um, yeah, and that was fine because it's a side scrolling thing anyway, having the D pad in like the prime position. Sometimes I actually prefer the PlayStation controller for those kind of things. Um, but yeah, overall I, I'm having a good time with it and it, it, it makes me want to keep playing it cause it, it seems really cool. So that's all I got. So what have you got Dominic? All right. So I play some more Scott Pilgrim. Okay. And well, I, technically, I beat the game, oh, nice. but when you play multiplayer, you can go anywhere, so you uh-huh. can go right to the end. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, you don't have to progress through the game; they just let you go to anywhere on the map. So I mean, we got to a part where we died because uh, it's like different levels and fighting the last boss, Gideon, mm. and the first time he beat us, uh, we lost all our men. So. We started again. I forgot. I was wondering, like, hey, which one are we supposed to go to? Which dot on the map? So, because it's some dots, they'd be like the in between of each stage. And I I was very confused. And like, well, do I have to start from the beginning or do <laughs> we start from this dot? So I start from this dot and I realized, oh, no, we, I guess we went too far ahead. But it's like, oh, whatever. Let's go ahead and beat him. So we went ahead and beat him. I know my friend, because he's been playing online, which I can, I can never play online uh, with other randoms. Like every time I try to, it uh, it takes. I mean, it, it it can't find anybody. It says there's nobody online for oh, some weird. reason. Um, so I was like, man, I I can't. Yeah, so I just don't. But I have found a uh, like a cheat, which it's not really a cheat, but it was in the original game, and I guess they didn't take it out of this one, where if you go to a shop. And by uh, there, well, there's a code. There is a code in the game that's that's in the game. Like they give you codes where you they'll, you can get fifty coin, like fifty coins or something like that. But you have to give up a life to get it. 
So, but it, it's something, if you go buy something in the shop, like to go where it'll heal you or like give you like or something like that. And you use that code, you'll get 50 coins and you don't lose a life. So you can keep doing it and keep getting yeah. coins. So I was using that to get powerful. Yeah. Uh, so I was doing that. Uh, and I haven't played it since. So I was like, oh, next time I play, it should be a lot easier because I was getting my butt kicked while I was playing with him. It was, I was just taking his lives because when you lose all your lives, you can, he can give up his life. So I was like, yeah, I said, I got to get, I got to play some more to level up. But it means fun. But it's just the uh, the problems that was with the game, which, you know what? I, I kind of figured Ubisoft would go cheap on this. <laughs> where they wouldn't really improve anything. Yeah. Cause they platforming, like trying to jump over to certain places. It's okay. Uh, but me, me, I think it's bad, but I know how to do it. But the problem is, is like, I feel like you slide to the edge too easily. Uh, and like, I keep falling off to the spikes in certain areas like that. Oh man, this is awful. It's really, it's like, it's not, it's too loose. Mm. And, some aspects and i'm like ah oh, this is like man it could have tied up these controls a bit but they didn't because they didn't have to so <laughs> so they, they didn't have you're not wrong about tool. that yeah uh, another game i play i forgot to put up here too is it's a game like among us that is out and it's a demo that's out for a short time i, okay. I played it on steam evil it's called evil Okay. Um, E V I L L E, like like uh, so. E vile. It is looks like it seems like a more complicated Among Us. Oh. <laughs> where you could do because it's a three D world, almost like an RPG somewhat, and you do task, and somebody is I think it's more than one person who are the killers, and they tell you I was looking at directions, it was telling me how. This is how you become evil. But I it's like, I mean, you like pretend you're doing tasks. But thing is, when I got to the point to pretend doing task, I didn't know what the task to do. So <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to pretend about I'm doing. Yeah. And they figured, well, they didn't guess me first, but they got me second. Uh, which it was real quick. It wasn't even fun. Like it just ended just like that. I was like, you know what? Mm. And, but it's not the problem. That's not the really problem with the game. Like I haven't played it enough to really get a good um, handle of this game. It's because I don't like mouse and keyboard controls. I, I just I don't yeah. like them, and I don't have an option for the controller. Um, see, thing is, with Among Us, it's simple. You can just make it mouse controls, and I can just move around and do right. stuff. While in this, no, you got you have to use the keyboard, and I'm just like, oh man, I'm not good because I was just like really taking a lot of time just to move around places and I was like ah I just, I'm not into these controls like if they make a console version of this I'll try it yeah. I, mean, I, I probably won't buy it uh, so hopefully it comes <laughs> with Game Pass or something but they uh, yeah I was like ah, I just yeah I'm not into because I didn't have my uh the, the special keyboard my special keyboard, mm -hmm. uh, one-handed uh, yeah, thing. The Razor the, guy. The Razor, that Razor one. I didn't have that hooked up. And then I'll have to map it because I have to map it so that. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, I don't feel like going through all that. I just want to play the game. <laughs> so I just say, forget it. So I, then I just said, I was going to play some Among Us. Because I didn't play Among Us yet since it came on Game Pass. Oh, uh, okay. On the, and it's only on Game Pass on the PC. Uh, oh, really? So, yeah, because I think the only way. I don't think it's on consoles. Like, I, I mean, really. I thought it came to the Xbox for some reason. I mean, is it on the Switch? It may be on the, on the Switch. It yeah, is. it is on the but Switch. I, yeah. But, but yeah, but I wonder the Switch, can you use the Touchscreen Joy Cons? And, and, and if you uh, can, yeah. I wonder why they couldn't put it on Xbox. Because I, I, I was wondering, because I was thinking, like, did they just make you use the touchpad? Because that's how I played it. Because I played it on the iPad. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. I was that using the touchpad. Sense. Yeah. So on this, I'm using just the mouse because they, they say you can use mouse and keyboard or just a mouse. I say I'll use the mouse, and it's simple. So I I did record some of that me playing that game. I played it for a little bit. Uh, I think a little over thirty uh, apparently minutes. Apparently, it's coming in 2021 to Xbox Game Pass for console. Oh, okay, I thought well, that's it had been then. on there for some reason. I guess I just mixed those two up. Yeah. So I was uh, I finally became a killer, and I won. 
like I killed somebody for the first time. It felt good. <laughs> and um, it's simple. You get next to him. You just hit kill. Yeah. It's like, okay, that's how you do it. And yeah, and I just killed him. Um, but they will see before I even killed anybody. Cause I was acting like I was, I, you can still do tasks when you're the killer. And I was still doing tasks. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm, I said, the first time I'm not going to kill anybody. That's mean, I mean, or I'm going to do some tasks, then kill somebody. <laughs> but then they hit them. Somebody hit the button and they thought it was somebody else. Mm. who was a killer and they got it wrong. Very nice. And then I ended up killing everybody. I got, I got to a point where I got next to somebody, killed them. Nobody saw the body. And I think they hit the button and they still didn't pick the right person. And then I think I killed one other person. Yeah, I think I killed one other person and then that was it. And I won. And people quit a lot in these games, man. It's like, darn, I I don't know. Um, But I also played where they did pick me to be the killer and I wasn't. And I was angry. And I went to, um, I was, I think I got killed by the killer. I got killed. And you're a ghost. When you're a ghost, it seems like you still do, still can do task. So I, that's a little weird. I don't know what that's all about. Like, what does that mean? Yeah, that seems. And awesome. I still want to get to a point where, if you're doing task, like, is there an end to task? Like, you fix everything and that's it, and you win. Like, yeah. how does that work? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But it's always come to be somebody either picks a killer or they don't guess right, or something like that. Since I've been playing it, it's always ended that way. But yeah, it was fun. It was fun playing that. Uh, what else is there? Oh, it didn't like you got people who's assholes or the little kids, which look all kids are assholes. <laughs> I was gonna say so, one and the same. Because <laughs> the guy, he, I think he, uh, he quit. So I think it doesn't just move servers or like, or he ended the game. What did he do? He did something where. <sighs> I forget how, but the game ended and the people were asking, like, what'd you do? He said they killed my wife. So I, I didn't want to play anymore. And I was like, what? What do you mean he killed his wife? His wife was playing with him? So, well, I think he was just saying that. He was saying that together, person was his wife. Yeah, I don't think that was his wife, uh, really. I just think his he was just saying that. I was like, oh, and I was like, okay, this guy's an idiot. Let me get out of this party. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> this guy, get out of here. But yeah, it, it was fun when I played, though. Yeah, I mean that game's fun. Uh, uh, what else have I played? Played some more Trails. Still playing Trails of Cold Steel. Going through that. Uh, played some Civ Six. I'm playing a new, um, like a very specific scenario where you are Julius Caesar and you're trying to you're just conquering places. Mm-hmm. So it, it sets up as like you don't just build. You mean you can still build cities, but you going to limit it to like doing certain things. Cause really it's just about you taking over using your army to take over different cities and you only get 60 moves. So you got to do with this 60 moves. So, so far I'm doing okay, but it's just one city. I, I don't remember it. Actually, I don't mean, I didn't bother to look at the name. I don't care about your name. It's just going to kill you. Um, <laughs> it's just, they are really handed, handing it to me, making it hard for me. And I got a lot of, uh, people in my army just that they're far away because they were fighting another war somewhere yeah. else. And now I got to move them over there to finish those guys off. But I, I like that scenario thing because it's shorter. You know, it doesn't take, um, it's not the longer one and it's shorter. And I like just doing a couple moves per night, mm-hmm. you know, and then I just go to sleep dreaming about war. And then I, <laughs> I get up. And <laughs> I get, Working for another but, day of conquering. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's I, I like that because I never did that. I never really did those scenarios before. I always did blank slate and just pick what kind of world I want. Like, do I want it to be? I most of the time I used to pick it like I want to be like the real world. Mm-hmm. Like I want to be look like our world. And there's occasionally I'll pick it where okay, I'll make it s- still with continents, but not like our world. But like the beginning with blank slate and just starting with that and take it forever just to beat it. But uh, these things, I think, is better for me for this time around doing something like this. Yeah. Uh, what else have I played? I played some more medium, not much more, but I did get to um a I don't know what this area is. I don't know if it's a hotel. It used to, I think it used to be a, a resort, but 
but it's like an abandoned resort. Mm-hmm. And then like you you use your uh you use these powers where you could follow this trail, like your medium powers, I guess, mm-hmm. like footprints. And there are clues of what to do next, because I was having a hard time finding out, as you might see, if if I post this video up, uh like what to do next. And there are things on the ground that kind of helps you towards like, oh, go here. Like it might be a, it looked like a kid's chart um chalk on the um cement. And it's like pointing an arrow somewhere. And oh, I was okay. like, oh, okay. So that's what that is. It kind of helps you try to figure some things out to move around. I haven't seen anything super scary yet uh, in the game. Um, I just got to the resort building, but I stopped because I had to do something. But, I mean, it's still intriguing. I don't know how great it is, but so it's intriguing. Like, I'm not hating this yet or anything. I mean, I'm just curious where this goes. Like, it, it's... It really scratches the itch of curiosity for me, basically, with this game. And yeah, it seems like it's a walking sim. Like I don't think I'm I I don't know, like if there's gonna be like, oh, you wanna fight something. I don't know it's gonna be that. But it feels good like a walking simulator type of game. Uh and what else did I play? Oh, I tried out the Indiana Jones. Mm-hmm. That was the Xbox Live Arcade. Not arcade. Um Xbox Live Games for Gold game the original xbox game and that game holds up extremely well not, no no it does not hold up extremely well it's, <laughs> okay. it's, the camera man is awful i oh. don't like the camera controls it's just too loose uh also i mean it's it's an old game and i mean i, I just could i try to get through i said like, i'm gonna just get to a point where i finish this part of the level i couldn't make it so, so it I said, very oh, much it. shows so, its age. Yeah, it's it's an old game. I mean, I probably would have been more interested in it years ago, but now I'm like, nah. There's been so many better games of this ilk. This is not it. Yeah, it's just the controls just feel so ar- ugh, archaic. It's, it feels very old. I feel like this definitely was meant for the old Xbox controller. <laughs> the old horrible controller. Uh <laughs> What else have I played? I played, oh yeah, Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 is on Xbox. It's a free weekend. Now, okay. I don't know if it's everywhere, but I know on Xbox, it is a free weekend. So I played some of that. They have a story mode. It is very Japanese anime. <laughs> Kid, kids anime, though. Very kiddy. Uh, but so I ended up, like, I was trying to just go through the story that eventually I just said, no, fuck it. I'm just skipping. It's like I play the game, and it there is. I set it to just the difficulty is organic. Basically, I guess it'll be harder depending on how good you are. Uh, then I stopped that. I wanted to play online. I said, "Let me play online against people." Um, I couldn't find any matches on any anything oh, like wow. any other modes. So I don't know if it's people who just can't play. I mean, mm. not can't play or people just ain't up here on on the Xbox version anyway. I was like, oh, I wonder how many people got this game on Xbox and they're probably just not playing online. So what else? I did play against the computer, though. I set it to four players. So I was like, I never played against more than two people. Mm-hmm. I mean, like just you and a computer. So I would have put on four players to see how that goes. And I got a butt kick. I got a butt kick. Um, I think I came last. Well, I think <laughs> I came. You, only, you have to win two matches. And I think I came... Well, third in the first match, but after that, I came last. Like every time, it seems like I'm going good. I just it just ramps up, and people keep blocking me, uh, blocking by. I was playing Puyo. I'm playing the Puyos ah. um, stuff. So I was like, ah, I like I, I set it to two Puyos and two Tetris. The Tetris guys were the ones who were really winning. So I was like, man, that's. I think this game is biased to Tetris. I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, the the Puyo Puyos can't compete with the Tetris. Yeah, but. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, I like that game. I, I, it's a, it's a fun puzzle game. Like, it's a nice puzzle game. I mean, I liked it when I played the first one. That was, I think it was like what a demo on the Switch. I was mm-hmm. playing that one because I also remember I did play it before. So I had that had to be the demo on the Switch. I think yeah, that's I what think it was. That's where it was. Yeah, and I I liked it. And yeah, yeah. Puyo Puyo is is a fun game. And having with Tetris, I think that's a cool crossover. Storyboard, I mean, listen, I'm not into that stuff, so I don't know how good that is. Um, so, yeah, don't, 
uh, yeah, it, it was very kiddie to me. I know that it's not, <laughs> it's not something like, oh, this is really engaging. Like yeah. I really want to see more. Like I just want to play the game. So mm-hmm. I just, oh, you can easily just skip it. That's the thing with that. You can just easily just skip it and go right to the game. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's all I played. So um, I guess we'll take a quick break when I get back. Well, I guess when we get back, uh, we get into the flashbacks of it. All right. And we're back. Let's get into the game. Oh, not a game of news. The flashback segment, because we're flashing back to the year 2011. I got 2010 up here, so I need to take that off. <laughs> uh, and you know what? Now I'm going. Now you make me want to make sure that I got the right one. I got the right one, oh, yeah, because no. I ain't going to 2010. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. So what we got? So now we're in a new month. We're in a new month. We're in February. So here we go. Black History Month. Also Valentine's Day. Also President's Day. Also, um, I don't. I don't know what else. What else happened in February? I think Michael Jordan's birthday. This month. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't get any of these holidays off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. So, what we got? We got uh, Bionic Commando We Arm 2 is on the PS, uh, the PlayStation Network, and the Xbox Live Arcade. All right. So, the Bionic Commando, I know one, ABC, oh, decent reviews. So definitely yeah, better than I remember the I was on game. the hype train with one and I downloaded that. And I thought it was cool. It was a cool remake of that old game, but it was still kind of very much rooted in that old game. Like, you couldn't, you couldn't jump, I want to say, because you had to use your little Bionic Commando arm or whatever. Yeah. You didn't um, have Bionic legs. <laughs> exactly. That's why you couldn't jump. And I remember two coming out, and I think people were pretty positive on it, but I think I kind of fell off the, the train by then, so I never played it. Maybe I played a demo because that was when everything still kind of had demos, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I never played I don't think I ever played it. I mean, I'm actually, I, maybe I played the demo of one, but I just don't remember. Like, mm-hmm. I don't remember much about the game. But I do remember hearing it being decent, at least the first one. I forgot there was a two, honestly. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? We got Rock Band Country Track Pack 2. Did you get that? I Damn. don't think I did, but there are some songs on here I recognize, some people I recognize. Darius Rucker, Hootie of Hootie and the Blowfish fame. Johnny okay. Cash, Keith Urban. I've heard Is of that these the black people. Is yeah. that the black man? Okay. Yep. And he's good. I like some of his stuff. Very very soothing country music. So, nah, but I never and, got this. You know, we got this one. Nah. All right. So what is where we got? The Sims 3 Outdoor Living All stuff right. is, uh, came out for it's like one of those Windows smaller Cinema. packs, probably. Yeah. Here's a tent. Uh, <laughs> the campfire. Yeah, we still, what, Sims 4? And I think that's still just getting updates and things happening with that. That I never heard they, gen like, Sims Five rumors, man. That's what we gotta get on next. Yeah, I mean, but EA, I, well, may not be done this year. Um, it sounds, well, it sounds like they really. Well, we get to the news, I guess they really been dropping the ball. I mean, not dropping the ball, but they've been letting out like their future stuff coming out. Um, from there, you might, you might, you know what? Maybe E three, maybe they announce some Sim stuff. But I, no, I'm E3, thinking this will be Dominic. That's cute. Well, 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 summer, <laughs> whatever uh, their equivalent what, what is, is. What? What is it? What is it? Um, yeah, we call it? S- summer. No, his, oh, Jeff Keeley's Jeff Keeley's summer yeah, hotness. Jeff Keeley's, yeah, his his thing. Maybe they might say like uh, Sims Five, but I, I have a feeling it's going to be another big Sims uh, add on before. Oh, Sims yeah, 5. just ride I'm that train. That. It's fine. Add that to one of my my uh, predictions. Okay, that, that's that's what's going to be. Uh, what else we got here? We got Earthwise came on Windows. You know what? I don't know what that is. Me neither. Um, I'm gonna say it's a strategy game. That's what I'm gonna guess. I don't know. This cover looks decidedly not strategy. Oh, it's a massively oh, it's multiplayer online RPG. Okay, is this still even exists now? It oh service service <laughs> closed on February 9th, twenty twelve. Damn, just a year well, later. I was gonna say, which was only a year. 
<laughs> Man, Google must have made that game. Oh, look at the cover, Daniel. I, see, I, the I cover? see the cover. <laughs> That's why I said it didn't look like a, a strategy game. <laughs> yeah. Fucking that Miranda woman, ass yeah, Miranda showing, over here. Hey, she worked off of that ass. She she's gonna show it off. <laughs> just, she definitely is like a Miranda. It definitely is like Miranda from Mass Effect. And more of that too in gaming news. All right. So <laughs> All right, what else we got here? We just go to uh, okay, we're finishing for the first week in 2011, so we go back 20 years to 2001. There's only one game for this week that came out, and that was Paper Mario for the N64. And I was actually when I first saw this, I was disappointed because I wanted Mario RPG too, and people kept saying this is like the Mario RPG successor. I was like, oh. And then when I saw it, I was like, this is a side scrolling game. Yeah. And I was like, this is not the uh, I thought we was getting like a Mario or Final Fantasy. <laughs> and I was I was like, I was I wasn't pissed, but I was like, I don't give a damn about this game. <laughs> but like like I didn't yeah, yeah, because I really when I came here my paper burial, I didn't see anything about it. But I, I read I just read somewhere like, oh, this is like the successor to Burial RPG or mm-hmm. something. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, um, there we go. I guess we're going to finally get like a Mario Final Fantasy thing and say, this is going to be awesome. And then when I saw this, I was like, what the fuck is this? When does it go 3D? Is it, what does it go like? D? Like, why, why is it still just like going side to side? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> then, but, but, but it got people liked it. I, I and thing is, I never got to Paper Burial. Like, I never did. The only one I ever played was the one that came on the Wii U a little mm-hmm. bit. The Color Splash. Uh, I play, and I didn't play much of that, but that's the most I ever played of like a Paper Burial game. Now, I played the Burial, like Luigi games, some of them on the uh, the DS, 3DS or whatever. But uh, that's the only, yeah, that's the closest. But I played quite a bit of Burial RPG on an emulator mm-hmm. uh, for, the, for the Super Nintendo which I wish they would release that on the Nintendo. Yeah, I mean, that'd Switch. be nice. What's going on, on with that? Nintendo? Come on, Square. I'm gonna blame them. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, I think I think Nintendo has a license. They, don't they? Would they have a license to that? I don't. I don't know. I, I mean, mean, I mean, they have the character the license, Country, obviously, but I don't know. I mean, because Donkey, but Donkey Kong Country, they did. Yeah, they still put that out. I so, I, um, I I'm just yeah. So, but I heard. People did like this game. Did you play this game? Um, I want to say I mm, the sixty four one. No, no, I didn't. I don't think you I did? played this. You didn't one play it. Oh, no, it wasn't until the GameCube like thousand year door that I picked that one up, and then I don't know if, if I even played much of it, but I did definitely own a thousand year door. Did you like that? Okay. Um, what bit of it I played I liked, but I don't think I liked did as much as the like the Game Boy and the DS ones, the Mario and Luigi ones. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm curious to try something like this. If they ever do uh, N64, you know. Mm, virtual console type thing. Virtual console, yeah. Uh, if they have it up there, I would give it a try. Yeah. Because, which they should have just, it should have been part of the, all the, like, Mario All-Stars. Mm-hmm. should have been all these fucking games. God damn it. Especially if you ain't going <laughs> to do nothing to them. Yeah, well pretty just much. Put them out there. <laughs> just, That's too much of a value, Dominic. They can't do that. Nah. Uh, but yeah, twenty years of of that game, and I just recently watched someone on Game Done Quick because they put out videos mm-hmm. every so often. He was playing that game. Oh, okay, up there. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you know how we do every month. Every new month, we have new covers. Uh, so of that month, so new video game covers, uh, magazine covers. So let's start with the 2011s. So we're going to go here to edge and we got on the front here, kill zone three bullet storm body count and crisis two. Now, uh, the title here, it says modern warfare inside the next generation of FPS. Yeah. Um, not not talk about bar warfare as look at all those Halo killers. <laughs> uh, but 
Yeah. Now here's the thing. I don't know what body count is. I, I don't, don't know what this recall game is. body count either. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say that was a loser. That was a loser out of these games. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> body count game. I gotta look it up. It got a 2.5 at GameStop. Damn, even GameStop get a little score. <laughs> um, Metacritic gave it 53. It came on a PS3 and Xbox 360. Uh, it is considered a spiritual successor to the 2006 video game Black. Oh, Let's go. wow. It's made by Codemasters. Okay. Uh, man, but they Darren, this this disappointment then. It's going to come back under EA. Um, the reception, they said Body Camp received mixed reviews on both platforms, according to mm. uh, Metacritic. Uh, it, as, as a result of very mixed uh, reception, Codemasters closed the door, closed down their Guildford studio. Laying off 70 employees. Oh, man. Um, the Guardian gave the Xbox 360 version a score three stars out of five. Oh, the Guardian. <laughs> the Daily Telegraph gave the same version two and a half stars out of five. The Daily Telegraph. Did this game only Seriously? release in the UK or something? What is happening? <laughs> um, I'm trying to see. Uh, oh, yeah. However, the Digital Fix gave the same version four out of ten. Damn. Um, calling it an ill-conceived, poorly constructed, seemingly rushed mess, which isn't fun and no way warrants its full price tag. It it's all been done before, and a hell of a lot better many times. Keep your cash and your wallet or purse. Yes, I have a purse. That's what I have, Daniel. Uh, but yeah, okay. So that game's not good, but the other games are all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Killzone 3 is probably normalist than Bulletstorm and Crisis 2, but I mean, it wasn't a, like a bad game. It just wasn't all that interesting for me. All right, so let's move on to the next one we got here is, all right, so we go to PC Gamer, and they got Dragon Age 2 on the cover. Yeah, they do. It's at least the Big 10 of 2011. New details and... Exclusive screens from the biggest PC game of the year. Ooh. Um, also, they reviewed Call of Duty Black Ops. Man, y'all late. <laughs> well, did that come game come out later on PC? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, also, this is this, the world's number one PC magazine. PC Games of Magazine. Course. So you remember. Um, step by step, Minecraft Survival Guide. Oh, there you go. Minecraft. Yeah, look that Dominic. up, people. Uh, I've been playing that game ago, for Minecraft. like over 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. And still, I need this guy though, Daniel. I of course. Still, I still uh, I said, what's the best $5 game? On that I want to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's probably a Steam game that went on sale. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably been free 20 million times since then. <laughs> also, they got hands on conquering the supervillains of DC Universe Online. And that game's still going on. Yeah, it is. Still happening. Uh, what else? Have I missed anything? I think I got everything off of here. Yeah. All right. So what else we got here? We got the PlayStation official magazine. And they got L.A. Noir World Exclusive. Yeah. For the makers of GTA and Red Dead Redemption. Yep, sort like of. this game. Even though it, it went through a lot of shit to make this game. And yeah. there's some horrible stories. That was uh, the original like rock star wife or whatever, right? Where it was like people are sleeping under their cubicles and whatnot to make this game happen. Was was that what it was for this one? I thought that's I thought that's where like that all began. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think they were like uh, one of the tipping yeah. points for like abuse in the industry. But also that game is very good and I would kind of yep. love to see a new LA Noir. Yeah, just don't a, have to go through N- that shit to make it. And why <laughs> Noir or something. What what you say? What and why New Noir? New yeah. Oh, New York New Noir. Yep. Yeah, HK New Noir, Hong Kong, or <laughs> Hong Kong New Noir. I mean, you can be more yeah. New Noir. <laughs> Shot Town New Noir. There you go. All right, what else I got up here? Game of the Year awards is on the magazine. Also reviews of Little Big Planet Two, Mass Effect Two, and Dead Space Two. All these twos. Yeah. 
These sequels. No originality in this damn industry. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Titanic Terror, Shadows of the Damned. Oh, and that's just going away from EA Play, man. So you got to play it now. Oh, really? It's going to be gone soon. Oh, man. Well, it might be gone now. I don't know. Sometime this month. Also got Killzone 3, WWE All-Stars, the last great WWE game. Um, mm-hmm. Bulletstorm, Uncharted, and Uncharted 3. Uh, all right. So, yes, move on. What we got here? We got Game Informer, which is just a picture of the dragon symbol from Skyrim, yeah. Elder Scrolls V. I mean, this is like Ra-ra. one of the Ra-ra. most anticipated games, man. Uh-huh. Uh, and it is like one of the best selling games. I mean, this game has been on everything since it came out. Everything. Yeah, literally. Do they even have a new console update? Uh, I don't think so. Not yet, but it's bound yeah, to be about happening. To say, they got, it's got to be. It's got to At least they make for the happen. Xbox, it's got to happen. Oh, yeah. And um, I can't read these words back here. I need a translator. <laughs> Did you translate this yet? Uh, yes. It says something, something, dragonborn, something, something, trade your first child for dragons, and <laughs> uh, macho man dragon. All right. So that is it for 2011 so now we're going back 20 years let's look at what they got up here on the playstation official magazine in 2001 which is zone of enders this is the hideo kojima game yeah that was it was okay it was okay game i got it but what the reason why it did so well and sold so well really was the very solid demo Mm -hmm. two demo that was inside um, which you don't know yet. I don't think you we knew at this time that that was going to happen. Yeah. I don't think. I don't. Th- yeah, I wonder when did it come out with the that said, "Hey, we're going to have a demo inside." Because I remember first seeing Zone of Enders. I didn't know that was happening. Mm-hmm. I just I was just interested. I was interested in it because Hey, Dio Kojima did it though. Yeah. So exactly because everything um, was like, from the creator of Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, so for me personally, I think I would have gotten the game anyway mm-hmm. uh, because I think I was just on the Hideo Kojima train back then. I, I Clearly, if you've been listening to the podcast, I fell off. I'm not on that train anymore. <laughs> yeah, I haven't stayed the fan, so I'm sorry. But anyway, yeah, but but yeah, a lot of people won that demo, and I played that demo a billion times. I played that demo more than I played this Zone of this game. I played through that game one time, beat it, and I mean, it's fine. The story is not great i mean i think i liked it then so that means i know it sucked because i was a little kid and um <laughs> i didn't know good stories and i know it was anime as fuck yeah so yeah i was like i wouldn't like that story now um anyway they also got over 40 ps2 previews because this is still the early stages of the ps2 so you had silent hill 2 devil may cry rain man revolution ace combat 4 star wars episode 1 starfighter i was really excited for this game because those screenshots look gorgeous like seeing Nabu, the Nabu fighter, mm. and then seeing like the land below. Like, oh my God, it looks so pretty. I never did get the game though. And now it's no point because now it's going to look horrible. <laughs> exactly. Sh- Shadow of Destiny. Shadow of Destiny. That sounds familiar. I, I think I know the game. And Dark Cloud. Also, all new Metal Gear Solid 2 screens. Over 45 reviews, including Tomb Raider Chronicles. 2001. Gear of the video game movie. And none of them were good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got in the demo disc. They got Star Wars Demolition. Star Wars Demolition. Oh, there we go. Um, Crash Bash. Mm-hmm. Cool Borders 2001. Yeah. Spyro Gear of the Dragon. And You Don't Know Jack. Bach 2. I didn't know what You Don't Know Jack was back then. I didn't know about that game until. looking bald right, guy that I only saw like eyes up. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know I've seen it. I just didn't know what it was. Yeah. I don't even know what yeah, it was. Yeah, I didn't either. I was like, what is this weird bald guy everywhere for? <laughs> yeah. Also, they got tips and tricks for Ready to Rumble Round 2, Final Fantasy 9, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. All right. So what we got next here? We got Electronic Gaming Monthly, and they got the world exclusive Xbox reveal. Oh, man. twenty. Yep. 20 years ago, they revealed it. Finally get to see what it looks like. I thought it was gonna um fucking break. What was it? I'm, I'm trying to think what was the first like 
concept art I saw the Xbox. I remember it, I was know it, it was like a dolphin the fin. Full X the looking dolphin. thing. Yes, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a actually like an X. <laughs> and I was thinking like, what? Is it gonna be you just have an X? You gotta stand it up like that? Yep. To play that thing? <laughs> it's, but yeah, um, they got photos and screenshots inside. Also from the creators of uh, Metal Gear Solid, Zone of Vendors, Worldwide Wandering, Wandering with Final, hmm, I'm sorry, Fantasy Star Online. Also, they got Fighting Vipers 2. I never played a Fighting Vipers game. I don't think I have. You say you don't think you have either? Yeah. I'm trying oh. to think. I want to say that might have been like one of the games that my buddy would rent from Blockbuster or something for his PlayStation, but I owned it for oh. sure. Fight you got Vipers. Grand Grandia 2, um, Sonic Shuffle. Sonic Shuffle, was that the dan- is that a dancing game or something? What the hell was that? I feel like I've seen it before though. Well, it's actually, I think it's like Burial Party. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah. Now I know what it is. Yeah, it's like a Burial Party game. What, what was better then? This or Burial Party? Yep, just pick the best of the Mario games to, <laughs> <laughs> to copy off of. <laughs> Banjo Tui, Star Wars Episode 1, Battle for Naboo, Lunar 2, Eternal Blue Complete. And I played this game because a friend. Um, and my friend at the time, anyway, at um, high school, he had it. He let me borrow it. He said, oh, it was a great game. It mm-hmm. was okay, JRPG. It was like, it was for the, was it for the PlayStation 2 or the PlayStation? I forget. But it had graphics almost similar to Super Nintendo-like graphics. But oh, okay. it had those cutscenes that were anime. Like full anime. And yeah. Own, yeah. And it was like one of those, well, uh, what's the company? They used to always do these big box sets. Of games, that's the only way they can get over here. If you buy the big box set, and it's uh, like, oh, it's yeah. a collector's edition. Uh, damn, I forgot the company's name because they used to do all those games like that. Was it still? Were they still called NIS even then? I don't think so. I think it's called something else. Uh, but yeah, uh, only reason I kept playing it though is because he told me one of the cutscenes you do see her naked, and I was just waiting for that cutscene. And <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. You just saw her butt, though. Oh, okay. uh, it's a, but <laughs> I was just a horny little teenager then. Yeah, absolutely. Anime was our oh, savior. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, Donkey Kong Country, um, Game Boy Color. Yeah, also in here. That was a choice. Uh, what else we got? Uh, where I'm at now. I am here at Nintendo Power, and we got Paper Mario on the front. Also, the battle in that boo begins as it's on N sixty four. Also, I think it was was it called something different on N sixty four? Because it was. I don't think so. Oh, oh no! Was wait a minute. Was it called? Okay. Wait a minute. I think one of them was called Jedi Starfighter. That was battle for that Xbox that. one. I thought right. Okay. And this was this just called Battle for Nabu? Star Wars: The Battle for Nabu? Was that what that was called? That sounds right. All right. Well, damn. Now I'm trying to remember the title I looked at before. <laughs> it was, it, it's, I thought you said Battle for Naboo, too. But I didn't know if that was the same. No, it's called Star Wars Episode One Starfighter. Okay, so yes. Oh, okay. That's what it was. And then the N64 was called The Battle. Maybe that was called Battle for Naboo. Because I knew they had different titles. Yeah, um, that came on the, the 64 and the PC, The Battle for Naboo. Yeah. I wonder what the PC version of that looks like nowadays. Which one was better? Always the one on the Nintendo console, Dominic. Oh, okay. Oh, whatever. <laughs> You're uh, asking the wrong person. <laughs> I always choose the same. Also, 64. they got exclusive previews of Pokemon Stadium 2 and Magi Nation? What's Magi Nation? Oh, no. Some Pokemon ripoff. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mahi Nation is it's a card game. I wonder if that's is that the same thing? Well, if this is it, it it does kind of make me think it's a sort of Pokemon ripoff. There's definitely kids and weird monster things. Apparently it was a cartoon series, Canadian animated yeah. series based on a card game, Mad Magi Nation Duel. 
I don't remember like, that at all. Maybe that was like strictly Canadian type stuff. <laughs> Is it Canadian? Straight up. Oh, okay. Oh wait, no, no. I think I remember this cover from the Game Boy version. Or that just looks like every generic Western anime character from that era that I've ever seen. Might be a little both. Yeah, it definitely looks that way. But I guess it didn't last. Uh, I'll bring it back. What else we got here? Where are we at? Um, Game Pro. Game Pro, we got Onimusha Warlords is on the front. Yeah. This was an anticipated game because it's a Capcom game. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't horror. It was more at like a action um, type of game. It's always a game I was jealous of. Oh yeah, you should be. You should be jealous of the PlayStation Two always. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> if you didn't have one, uh, also it says incredible PlayStation Two action: the samurai versus the monsters. Um, Eighty-five plus games aside, on the Banjo Tooie, be allowed two thousand one, Knockout King two thousand one. Persona 2, Eternal, Punishment, Tomb Raider Chronicles. people cared about it, though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> PC Game Pro, um, Game Pro got, what's this, Arcanum? Arcanum? That's a... This is, <laughs> uh, Mech Warrior 4, Vengeance. Now we're talking. And also, you don't know, Jack, the Fifth Dementia. Okay. A rough pun nowadays. They also seem like they got, uh, what's this... I can't. I gotta zoom in on it. Ah, it won't let me zoom. Damn you! Uh, what's that? Eighteen wheeler? Eighteen Where are you wheeler or something? That at? Oh, up at the top. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Fantasy Star Online, Unreal Tournament. Oh, Smuggler's Run. That was another Rockstar game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my sister had that game. I think she ended up giving it to me. Yeah, I think she ended up giving me. I th- I didn't really play it. I think I played it once. Yeah, that was it. All right. So what else we got here? Where I'm at? I'm at the Next Gen magazine in 2001. All right. And oh, this is this is sexy. Keep the kids away, people. Let the kids see this. <laughs> Cover their eyes. Yes. Uh, you have. It's like Duke Nukem is covering Laura Croft's sex, chest. <laughs> sex and violence. You you've grown up. When will your games on page 54? Still wondering. This, um, this. Still wondering when my games <laughs> are going to grow up. God darn. Also, the gamers God returns um, 777 games rated. Oh, darn. Rated R is more like it. Um, Exposed. I'm not going to put exposed. The supercar street challenge. Flogian brothers. Uh, I remember that game. That was, uh, uh, I believe it's like a point and click adventure game. Actually, I don't know it's okay. point and click, but it's like an adventure game on Dreamcast. Bloody War 3, Kessin yeah. 2, the Final Fantasy movie. Uh, and hands on reviews of uh, Banjo 2, Grandia 2, Back Warrior 4, Two Grand Chronicles, and Skies of Arcadia. All those games. And, and reveal Metal Gear Solid 2 in action. Using very suggestive words on this cover, Dominic. I know they really are. <laughs> it's not your daddy's video game magazine. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let me see. What we is that it for? Yeah, that is it for 2001. And I have one special one I want to look at from 1996, so 25 years ago. I might have had this one, Dominic. Looks very uh, familiar for to Game me. Pro. You had this one for Game Pro. You think? I want to say I did. I remember. Remember these Ki characters on here. Yeah, Killer Instinct 2 is on the front. Uh, tell me these characters' names, because I don't know these guys. Uh, that's Glacier, and then not Mike Tyson, and what is that dude's name? <laughs> y- Yager, Liger, I can never remember his name. He's like the Paul main Rock. dude. Paul Rock. <laughs> <laughs> J-, J something. What's, what's the real kind of guy? Well, what's this guy's name? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think of his name. Uh, Let me see. He's like he's the main guy. Yeah, he's like the the Ryu of the game, basically. J some Jago. Yeah, Jago. Oh, Jago. Okay, Ninjago. Yeah. What's <laughs> Ninja? How about Lego Dark Ninjago. Jago? Was Dark Jago in this game? Um, 
I don't know if that was a new concept. I want to say that was maybe a new concept for those. That's a new concept. Yeah. I don't know. All right. For me, it was all about Dark Orchid. Oh, Dark Orchid. The, what we got here, Super Mario RPG, Super Strategy. Also, you had, what, Ultimate Order Combat 3 up top here, War Mm -hmm. Gods. (laughs) War Gods. Arcade. God, I remember War Gods. Uh Yeah. Panzer, Dragoon, Zvi 2. Zvi was two, being two, right? Isn't that German for two? Sure. Oh, wait a minute. Let, 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 let <laughs> I never took those remember my, I got to remember my German. I was very impressed with your pro- um, pronunciation the, of it. I would have just been like Z-Y. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe that's why I put a two for people who don't know German. Exactly. I forgot. I forgot how to do my numbers. <laughs> um, NBA shootout on a PlayStation band. This is the, is this the first NBA shootout? You're right, Dominic. Google Translate says it's two. Great job. So what's the point of? I mean, I mean, I, I understand, <laughs> it's just, but it's like either cars Vi or two. I mean, it's I was like, is it two two? Yes, <laughs> is it two two? <laughs> All the dragons are wearing tutus. <laughs> All right, we got uh, 25 reviews, Alien Trilogy. Oh, the Alien Trilogy game. Yeah, it's like three games in one. Um, VR Soccer 96. Magic Carpet. I what? think I remember that game. Really? Magic Carpet. I, mean, I think I remember seeing it. But VR Soccer, I'm just thinking like, is it like it supposed to look like just 3D? Like somewhat three D, but it was really three D. The virtual boy. No, it was not. The, no, it can't be. It can't be what it is. Let me you see. You know what? I think I might remember Magic Carpet too from the PC being like a free game or something. One of those like freeware or shareware things that you end up with like a floppy disk that has a million different things. VR soccer. Let me see. Ninety six. Because I yeah, it's just like. A 3D soccer game on a Tekken Genesis. It's not really uh, VR. Boo. Liars. Fucking liars. You're telling me the VR troopers weren't in virtual reality. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Um, Night Warriors. Darkstalkers Revenge. I miss Darkstalkers. I want more Darkstalkers. And Earthworm Gem 2. Use one Felicia. That's all you want is Felicia. Yeah, you know, I was more of a Dimitri guy. I was kind of into him. What is... Oh, yeah, I want to see that Magic Carpet game and see if I remember it. It looks like it's just, like, first person basically flying around the world. <laughs> like, I don't even know that you see a carpet in it. I'm looking at Magic Carpet 2 now. Yeah, I don't... Where's the first one? Ugh, Magic Carpet 1. Why would I put 2? Okay, Magic Carp is not what I thought it was. Yeah. I can okay. tell you that right now. <laughs> it is definitely not Prince of Persia. No. Also got 38 sneak previews of Street Fighter Alpha 2, Tekken 2, Final Fantasy 7. Ooh, Daniel, the Final Fantasy 7. Uh Beyond the Beyond. The hell is that? I don't know. Ken Griffey Jr.'s winning run. I don't know what Winning One is. Is that like a sequel to the King Griffey Jr. game? Yes, it's a follow up. I was more about the big hurt baseball in, in that time. I mean, King Griffey, I, my f- a friend of mine's had it, and I was playing that. I was playing mm-hmm. that a lot. I was like, I was jealous. I was like, man, all I got is that. <laughs> I forgot what the game is. I mentioned on this podcast, but I forgot the name. Yeah. Is it Don Marin? No, no, not Don Marin. Um, darn, now you got, now you're making me got it looking up. Sega <laughs> baseball. He's a famous player on the front. We were a Frank Thomas but household but here. Sega baseball games. Um, yeah, Tommy Lasorda. Yeah, that's only before yeah. my time. Tommy Lasorda. Tommy Lasorda base. That's all I had. Where it didn't have real team names. <laughs> shit. <laughs> and like had Baltimore, had Baltimore and B A L and shit like that. Nice. And, like, I was like, I don't know these people. And I was like, I don't know these fakers. Baltimore local I team. All I, all I like was that. You can hit somebody with the pitch. They used to do that a lot. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it had like a slow animation of them going down, like, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
But when I saw Ken Griffey on the, the Super Nintendo, I was like, damn, this looks good. This game yeah. looks good. It, it's fast. I said, God damn, man. I got the shitty ass baseball game. I mean, I could have had better baseball games. I just had to ask for them. There was better ones. Like, Tommy Sawyer was like one of the first ones. It came in 1988. Oh, wow. I was still playing that game. <laughs> I was playing that game <laughs> up till I got a, what, a PlayStation? Wow. <laughs> I was playing that was a baseball game. I was playing. It's, it's, yeah. All right. So that is it. And so that's it for the flashback segment. So we take a quick break and we get back, get to the gaming news. All right. And we're back. So let's get into the gaming news. What we got, Dad? All right, Dominic. So we got a big one for PlayStation here. God of War, the latest incarnation, is getting its next generation update. Well, at this point, as of recording this, has gotten its next generation update. It's going to be running at 60 frames per second with all the graphical bells and whistles that you got from the graphical fidelity mode of the PlayStation 4 Pro. So basically marrying the two different options that you had on that system and boy how to get does that game look good dominic surprise surprise it looked yeah. good even <laughs> on our base ass playstation so i can't imagine how good it looks on a really nice tv running on a playstation 5 yeah i'm sure it looks great i just oh man i thought we talked about this so what game was it last week that you talked about was getting a graphical update um you know what i really hope it wasn't this one because i was thinking that and then i never went back and looked and let's see let's click on 315 and see god of war hold on okay no i didn't have it on there last week so what game was it then unless i mentioned it i don't have anything on here you must we we talked i know we talked about it we talked about a game getting oh they're about to receive their upgrade or or it was an upgrade was coming for yeah. a game it might have been might have been god of war because i did when i wrote that down i was like did we talk about this and then i looked at the notes and i don't know i don't know dominic i don't know if so yeah I would, hey guys I feel like this, out. You, yeah <laughs> i feel like you said it's not in the notes but oh, okay. this happened i felt like you did say that that sounds like a thing my memory yeah. is terrible all these years of non-drug use dominic have have ruined my brain (laughs) i should really invest in some of these miracle drugs of people yeah all right dominic so in some other news prince of persia this one actually just came out earlier today that i saw uh the remake slash remaster whatever you want to call it of the prince persia in the sands of time it is getting delayed and is was not given a new date so we don't know when that game is coming out and that adds to like the trifecta of ubisoft games because it was like oh man they've got a game coming out every single month from like november until march or something like that and then it's like well far cry is now delayed and this is now delayed and all of a sudden ubisoft doesn't have nearly as many games yeah so i mean that's kind of good that's yeah. sort of good um uh, now Give the prince of Persia, i room. just wonder like the delay i hope it's a, i doubt it but like maybe the game looks better. I hope it's a significant <laughs> delay to make that game look better. Yes, I am. Yeah, I, I would I'm rather for it to be like we're scrapping and we're yep. going to make it like Next a better gen. game because because yeah. do you really we don't really need it, you know? No, so, we don't. So it's not like I wouldn't mind that game being just overhauled. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because that that game came out looking really uh, PlayStation 3-ish at the end of the PlayStation 4's life cycle. And now we're on PlayStation 5, and none of that gels very well. So I think that game... Shut it down, give it some time. Maybe early early PS4 and Xbox One-like life cycle. Like early on, having a remake like that would have been more forgiving. Like now it's just, you got these new consoles... It's like, no, this game can look, this is not that impressive. All right. So EA had their earnings call this week, as well as Activision. First up, the EA news, though, they are working on a new Battlefield game that is supposed to be announced in the spring. I mean, this was basically an announcement because now we know it exists and that's how video games work. Um, Yeah. And it will be releasing in holiday of 2021. So what do you think? Dominic? Oh, so Is this it year? time for Battlefield? I guess. What can uh, they do? I mean, 
I mean, I guess it is because it's not like I'm really hearing much support for the previous ones. And yeah. so, I mean, it's a shame because I feel like that's not a game that has to, well, it, it didn't come out every year, but it just, it feels like forgotten to me. Mm-hmm. Like, did I just, like, it's not a game that needs to come out every year like a Call of Duty, but yeah. I feel like it needs to be supported. Like, it should have been, I'm used to, I remember Battlefield 3, though. They had, like, a big patch, like, and I think 4 did, too. Like, oh, we got, like, the following year that had something like, oh, this is the big, what should we call it, mm-hmm. patch with uh, so many maps and stuff, something like that. You know, it kept the game alive uh, for a while. While 5, it felt like it it came out and it came with that Battle Royale. Yeah. And that I was it. I think that's what killed it, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, they like, were like, they, here, we're going to support it with this. And then everybody was like, no, thanks. We got all these other ones. And then they were like, okay, fuck you guys then. Yeah, it's almost like Battlefield 5. I almost feel like, I don't know. I mean, I think even Battlefield 1 had a big update. Yeah, the mm-hmm. one with the, uh, was it, one with the woman on the front on the cover? Yeah. Is that what it was? The, yeah. This isn't my people. history one. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this isn't so, my World War Two. Yeah, Battlefield 5 feels like they really just like. Yeah, they weren't putting too much effort into it. I mean, like, to keep it ongoing. Like, hey, we got Star Wars here, yeah. I'm I'm curious. I mean, this Battlefield, I mean, I hope it's good and that's something that can really keep it um, popular for more than, like, for a little, more than two years, maybe even three. Yeah. I mean, shit, because a game like that, I almost feel like you don't need it. It doesn't need to be Call of Duty. Yeah, I mean, right. I mean, the multiplayer isn't Call of Duty, but it is. I mean, it doesn't need to be Call of Duty as in like you need a new iteration at least two or at least every two years. I feel like that can be supported, and you can support that game because that type of game play it's it feels like a very because it's, it's these long battles that take place. It feels like you could just change, like get some new maps or add some things, or add something, maybe a new mode or like maybe new weapons or something, but on going or do like yeah. seasons do like seasons like keep it a a, a games because you already make it someone like a games of service so you might as well keep it a games of service and that, that base game is just there for at least three years mm. like how rainbow six does it with their game like this kept rainbow six for i don't know how many years now and it's been just ongoing all right um you got anything you want to say on that yeah, I, I just uh, make make uh, make Titanfall you cowards. <laughs> oh yeah, no. that, that I, I I really don't I don't know what you do with a battlefield game outside of like you said, just you know make more of that, support it well. But I don't, you know, they tried the mech thing in Battlefield Two, and that didn't really seem to work out for them. They tried, you know, kind of. I don't. I don't see it as a franchise where you go like futuristic warfare. Although, I could, I could see some maybe cool stuff if you did it like uh, Edge of Tomorrow kind of thing, like that Tom Cruise. Oh yeah, movie yeah, that mean. kind yeah. of stuff. Like that could be pretty cool, but I don't know. I don't know what you do. I don't want to see them just kind of go back to the well of like here's World War Two again or something like that, but. Well, they, yeah, I don't think it'll be World War Two or World War One. Yeah, I didn't even think about like talking about that. Um, yeah, like what kind of cons, like what kind of battles we talking about? I think this current, I think current is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, or or I mean, change some things up, probably make a little things a little bit crazy. Um, but honestly, yeah, I don't really know. I mean, it's like it's like I really don't have an idea. Yeah, I, what they can do to really change things up, but. I just wanted to be where they support it. Really. Yeah. That's yeah, what it is. Cause I did like about. playing it. It just, I mean, I like playing one on uh, battlefield one. And that was, that was fun to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but I wouldn't mind playing with the, I know Battlefield four was, but I didn't play that one. So, and the story boat, I don't care. I don't mean personally, like the last, I played summer five, a little bit of five. Wasn't that interesting. I played all of, um, one battle for one, and it definitely wasn't. And it is called Battle for Five, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, That's yeah, fun. yeah. So, so that I'm just thinking, like, so they <laughs> how they did it. 
and like jumped Battlefield to one, one. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was weird. But one, one was, but I mean, it was fine, but it wasn't like great or anything. Like the the single player stuff. I mean, I feel like if you ain't gonna go all out to make a really great single player, I don't think it's needed. And just because people and people complain about it, I just say that. I mean, I ain't saying they say it, but I'm just saying that. It wasn't going to be that great anyway, so why do you care? <laughs> you know, like, I did like, like the no, cop one, but they, you know, that just came out at a really bad time. Didn't, yeah. You know, a little, uh, yeah, just not, but, yeah, not the reading one, the I room. What, 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 I don't remember what happened around that time when the cop one came out. I mean, I think it was just, it wasn't anything that was like one of the triggering events necessarily, but I think it was still the general consensus of you know, not quite abolish police yet. We hadn't quite got there, but there was still a lot of tension about like police departments around the country. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like they either need to do have a, I mean, I hope, well, they're already working on it. It's come out this year. So I hope they done, if they're going to do a single player, I hope it's great. I hope it's not just a basic, Hey, you're playing different people's stories. Mm. I mean, okay. It's one day play different people's stories, but can you make it really interesting though or make it that i don't know it's just I what you a single was player to be a kinda, walking simulator where it's a soldier coming back from the war and you just <laughs> you're living your life you're going to the grocery store <laughs> but then somebody's cart runs into somebody's car or something and you're like oh my god ied and you know that kind of stuff and make it make it serious yeah that's what something else somebody could better. explore I just, I mean, even be- like the Call of Duty stuff, but like, even like we'll look at the latest one. Mm. I mean, it's not great. It's, it's yeah, it's like a popcorn thing, but it's not like, man, I really want to play a single player. Mm. Like, I, I mean, because things hasn't changed really much since I played it back on the 360 days. I mean, like it looks better, but it's not really better. Like I need something like Titanfall. Like I need you to make it more engrossing. We just need to get back to the story. basics, Dominic. We need fucking buildings exploding and crumbling around us. That's what we need. We need defamation and all that stuff. Give us what Crackdown promised. Yeah, Crackdown and um, what, what's the word? Red for, Faction. Um, oh, I don't the, know. That's why I said defamation, <laughs> which is definitely damn. not the word I'm looking for. Destruction. <laughs> yeah, real life destruction. Like real life, like like yeah, like Red Faction, and then yeah, I want something like what you, what you, what the game was about. Like it was like, yeah. hey man, you could blow through walls and stuff, and the tank and stuff like that. Yeah, and I'm like, like bad company. Now especially. I want that better. I want that. Hey, we got this new technology. You could do even better now. Mm-hmm. Like give me that. There've been a lot of companies that promised that and never really delivered on it. Red Faction's really the only one that ever. You and know, then they start on that. Yep. And then they put you <laughs> underground for some reason. <laughs> After yeah. everyone loved being able to destroy all these buildings with a fucking stupid hammer. Yeah. It's weird, Dominic. All right. On to Activision's call, Dominic. They, they pretty much told people, hey, don't really expect Overwatch 2 or Diablo 4 to come out in Damn. 2021. Neither one? Yeah. Good God. Overwatch 2 feels like it very much should be coming out this year, right? Like, Yeah, I would thought hell? Overwatch 2 at least. Yeah, I would thought Overwatch 2 at least was coming out this year. I mean, I hope that game is great. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be a fun game. Yeah. But I I, mean, I hope that game is really great, though. I mean, I thought, it, yeah, I really thought that game was going to be like, oh, it's coming out later this year, maybe this summer. I don't know. Or maybe like a surprise spring or something like that. Yeah. Because it very much feels like it, most of it is just that original game and you're adding some single player stuff to it. What's going on here? Yeah, exactly. But we still got new skins, though. The yeah. Lunar the lunar New Year. Yeah, I did look through those. Listen. I didn't see any new, like, cool Mercy ones. So I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then Diablo 4, like, I would say, okay, maybe we're getting, like, a Diablo 2 remaster or whatever that people were talking about. But if that's why they brought in Vicarious Visions to work on that, I feel like we're a ways off then because they haven't been working on it this entire time. Oh, man. Yeah, that sucks. What What's Activision got for this year then, Dominic? Call of Duty. They got Call of Duty. They Is there a... 
Is there going to be like DLC for Crash Bandicoot? I don't know. For anything? Uh, I was just talking to a guy at work, and he said that game is obnoxiously hard. <laughs> oh. What? Really? The, yeah. I thought the original ones were. I thought this one was a little easier. It Damn. might be, but yeah, it sounds like they're pretty faithful to the uh, to the original. Man. They didn't put a baby mode uh, in there. That's all they need. Uh, but is there going to be a, maybe a, a surprise spiral game comes out or something? I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think. What else did they do? I feel like this is a conversation we always have. What yeah, does yeah, Activision do? Yeah. I think we had it like a, maybe last week or two weeks ago. <laughs> I think so, it was like two weeks ago. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I guess Call of Duty is just a Call of Duty game coming out. Yep. They don't All right, so do Tony Hawk games anymore. All right, Dominic. Here. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's Here's sad. the other big one. Um, surprise, surprise. And, and this isn't all of Stadia. I know. But not just happy. Not, not Google haters are just happy. I, I'm not happy about <laughs> this because I actually really like streaming. I I didn't expect much out of Google here, but that's a whole other thing. Google is shutting down its internal development teams for Stadia, meaning they're not shutting the service Stadia down yet but they are shutting down the portion that was working on exclusive games inside Google, which come the fuck on guys. It's been like a year since you guys, I mean, it was, it, it was like 2019 when they announced it first and then what late 2019 when they launched it. So it's been a little over a year that it's been in a, a product that's relatively available to people, whether through betas or it's final COVID COVID hurt them, Daniel, maybe COVID hurt them. I mean, I'm not going to say that's not true because when I think of streaming games, I don't necessarily think of streaming them in my house. Well, I do, but that's, you know, I'm, I'm a weird hermit person, so that's whatever. But I, I think the intention is, hey, I can take this with me on the bus or I can take this with me, you know, and play on my breaks at work or something like that, right? Um, yeah. But even then, like how divorced of the service itself, which I've been thinking about this a lot recently, and it, it kind of sucks that like this happened because now people are talking about Stadia a lot more. And now I've been hearing like talks of the ideas that I've been having, which I, I've discussed on this podcast before. But like the idea of Stadia or Xbox game streaming or PlayStation Now, all of these services should revitalize the demo scene. Like we should be able to have demos for every single game now because there's a minimal amount of extra work needed to do those because you don't have to carve out. You don't have to have a team of people carving out a little section of the game where it's like, okay, you don't break this. If I do this and that and this, you literally put it on your server and then you time that play session. You say, here's the full game, but it's you can only play it for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you want it to be. And then at the end of that time, you can say, hey, would you like to continue playing for $49.99 or the subscription of you know, $9.99 a month or $15.99 a month or whatever it may be. But that should bring us back to a point that we were at with Xbox Live Arcade. They enforced the rule that every game that you put on their service had to have a demo. And during the Xbox one era, we just completely moved away from that. Like 360, all those games, obviously the Xbox live arcade ones had them a large portion of the, the other titles, just regular retail releases had demos. They had, they had demos still. And then Uh, Xbox one came along and just not, not just them, but PlayStation four also, and just completely fucked that all up for some reason. Yeah. They just let it be that we just got to, tr- Hey, you risk reward, you know, yeah. but at least they added in like, Hey, you, if you play the game less than two hours at some of these places, uh, well, one hour, um, you can refund it. You can so. send it a refund, but I don't yeah. want to, that feels dude, like you're abusing like- the system. <laughs> Yeah, because I gotta if buy you do it, it frequently. I, I got I gotta buy it, and mm-hmm. then I gotta oh, okay. I don't like it. Let me yeah, give my money. It's back. also just saying I'm not gonna keep doing. You gotta keep. Yeah, I gotta keep doing it, sending it back to my account. Come mm-hmm. on now, no, nah, no, nah, that's not. That's only good for games I know I really wanted to buy, and it turns right. out shit. Yeah, 
that's not for me to try or it something out. like a cyberpunk where you buy it and then you're like oh it doesn't run yeah. on my pc the way i wanted to or something like that yeah which i mean i guess that's well, I guess that leads into, I mean, that also, in my opinion, would sell a, a, a service like this, because if you're playing the demos that way, you're not playing them on your system. So you don't know whether it's going to run well or not. But if you have a good experience with, with that system, whether it be Stadia or Game Pass, you're like, oh, yeah, I'll give them the money to, to continue playing here. Um, I mean, this to, the reason I, I say this as, as as if it's not surprising is because Google has a history of doing this, much like PlayStation has a history of hardware, right? Where they're like, hey, we got this thing that we're coming out with. And two weeks later, you're like, what? I've never heard of that. I mean, like this PlayStation back button thing, right? Like the two extra buttons on the back that you get the add on for. Like nobody's talking about that. that thing. Exactly. But <laughs> granted, also, that's partly because PlayStation 5 came out you know, yeah. like a month or two afterwards. So of course nobody's talking about that. And it's not that Sony's not supporting it because I assume it just, you know, mimics whatever other button you want it to mimic. So it's, it's not like it's that difficult, but you know, they do have a long history of, of making hardware that they then kind of leave on the table. But Google has just a, you know, a huge swaths of these things. And the fact that they're shutting down, these developers is absurd to me because it's been let's let's say it's been two years since they spun all this stuff up and had these people working is that long enough to generate a what you would expect from them to to be like a triple a title that's gonna sell yeah exactly people like like how many games came out uh that guilt the one that came out on release and i think that's basically been it yeah so it for them to shut down it's like jesus it's like you how many studios did you have did they have well i think it was just like one studio i don't know it if it studio. was you know different teams in, under that umbrella um but it was like stadia games That's, and entertainment yeah, or something yeah like what, that. I, i'm just wondering like how many games were in the works with, yeah. were, or at least planned and what were they working on because yeah you didn't even get a chance to Anything that happened, really. Yeah. It's like, damn. That's the thing. Is like, they just didn't give it a chance. Like, I mean, is that whomever being a higher up in Google just not believing in the Stadia product or you developing games internally? Because honestly, like, I don't know why they went that route outside of looking at Microsoft, realizing that they're probably their closest competition and going, oh shit, Microsoft can produce a whole bunch of exclusives for their service, which we can't do. Um, and at that point, if you're Google, you just fucking pay people. You've got enough money to to get these third parties on board or something like that. And you're Google, so you don't care if people are happy with the decisions you make or not. So you could lock down Call of Duty or whatever if they aren't on some other service. Um I don't know. It just, it seems crazy to me because they got some of the top people, you know, like Jade Raymond, you know, she came in to lead their game studio and now she's gone again. Um, and I think it was like about 140 people that they basically said, Hey guys, you know, you can work on something else at Google or move the fuck on. And it's like, you uprooted all these people's lives for an experiment that you were not willing to, to put the time and investment in. It seems crazy. Yeah, it it, it is crazy. Um, yeah, I, I'm really curious. And then like with Amazon, you mm-hmm. know, they like, what's good. Like their game studio ain't doesn't look like they're doing great either. Yeah. There was just there. an article on, I want to say it was Bloomberg about how basically Amazon can do anything except, make video games because they're notoriously bad at it or something like that. Um, and that's why Jeff Bezos stepped down Dom, so he can personally make video games. He's now yeah. going to be a coder. <laughs> that's why he's just going to sit in that He's the guy that he's a guy who looks like he's on the front of, you don't know, Jack. You don't know. Bezos. Yeah, that's what he like. <laughs> but yeah, these streaming services. So, 
like I'm looking at Xbox now. It's like, man, mm-hmm. they it's a good like if you're gonna go for a streaming service, that's the one. Yeah. That's the one to really go for. Uh but because I, I I don't really see it. Um I mean now they don't have um some games, you know, um because yeah. some games is just you have to but no, but you can stream it, yeah. But you can use your you can buy the game and some of these games and play it on the Xbox stream and stream it. it. Yeah, exactly. You can have it on your Xbox and stream it. They've also so, yeah, talked about like working towards getting every game that's available on Game Pass as part of the actual streaming stuff too. Oh yeah, and that that'll be great. Yeah. So it it's like I see a better future with that as of right now for these streaming services. I see that looking better than anything else out there right now. Yeah. I mean, I think it's smart Microsoft as a business model to basically use it as an adder, like, Hey, game pass, you get all these games, but also you can stream them if you want. Whereas Google was trying to sell stadia as, Hey, here's this thing that's going to replace your consoles. And, you know, you have to buy your games and hope that we stay around. I mean, that's, that's the biggest thing, right? Is like, you look at their model and they're trying to convince you to spend $60 on a game that I can only play on their service. Meanwhile, here we are two years, one year into this experiment, and you're already showing signs that you're not committed to this thing. And then like Amazon, I could see them at some point if they're committed enough to sticking with it, but also don't care if they're making money one way or another off of it, adding it to another prime thing. Like here's another prime bonus. You get your instant video, you get your instant video games, you get your that's instant what it should book do. library. It should. I don't think it should be something separate. Mm-hmm. I think, they need, I think Amazon should, I mean, I know I'm speaking biased cause that's what <laughs> you don't have to pay on extra, but I just feel like that'd be the best case to do uh, to do that is to attach it to something. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's the direction it goes once they realize like, Oh, we need this thing as an adder. It's not going to sell itself, but then, you know, you can have your other, you can have your Ubisoft channel. That's still $5 extra a month or something like that. And then you don't feel as bad about spending that $5 because the base thing itself is wrapped into your prime subscription that you're, yeah, using exactly. for shopping or whatever, you know. And then PlayStation is doing whatever PlayStation does. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's the current state of streaming, Dominic. And some other news. Which way do you want to go first, MLB or football? Oh, you know what? Before I go. Okay. Up to that, I want to say that I think Stadia needs to. I mean, I guess they didn't need to, but I would like it that they change their to be not just streaming that they just sell those games too. Mm-hmm. So basically, kind of just, like a G Force kind of thing, where it's like, here's your PC copy of the game, but also you can stream yeah. it. But see, I think the whole problem is that Google would have to build because. They wouldn't want to share. They want to give you a Steam code. Mm-hmm. Um, like, what they want to give you a Steam code, they probably, maybe they don't want to use no other company. Right. It's doing Steam or Epic. And well, that's a problem they, where I, you know, they were teaming up with CD Projekt Red for the Cyberpunk thing. You'll, like, get a Chromecast when you pre-order that game. Maybe they could get on GOG or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, maybe they can do that. Because I'm thinking, like... Kind of DRM for Unless thing. you're going to make your own... Um, like Google video game um, yeah. where like Google play launcher. store for the PC. Yeah. Google launcher or something. Then, cause I just feel like that game should be like, I want to have like, if, what if I like, okay, I don't stream, but I just have it, you know, yeah. and I can just play it. I feel like they need to, they need to just do that. They team up with that. But I, I understand why not, but it's just, that's the only way I can go that I can even think about going over mm. to even trying them. Yeah. The hard sell. Yeah. All right. So let's start with uh, the college football. All right, Dominic, after a seven year hiatus, 
EA is back in the college football game. Are you ready? I feel so much longer. When I saw it was like seven years, <laughs> yeah, it was 20. God, it feels like it's been the decade, man. Like It's been, it's been like so long. And I saw people, <laughs> people had memes of like 360, like showing the, um, the Avengers Endgame when, uh, <laughs> When when Tony Stark is dying, uh-huh. they say you can let go now. Basically, yeah, like you can let go. Like tell, they were talking to the three sixty, telling three sixty you can let go now. <laughs> because, because I still with that. Lot, there's a lot of people who said like I just got my three sixty running because that's the only way I can play NCAA football. Right. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's the last one. Because you can't do cross. They wasn't going to use crossplay. They were staying like EA was staying away from that from mm-hmm. like any law, like anything um trying to sue them or anything. They had to pay money, but. Yeah, I, I I'm happy that this is happening. Thing is, man, I played Madden and Madden is shit. So <laughs> I'm just. But thing is, at least it, NCAA has always been better to me for the mm. last few years. In the last since I started playing in 2004, uh, well actually 2003, which was the NCAA NCAA 2004 with Carson Palmer on front. Those games have always been better than Madden to me. I always enjoyed playing them more than Madden. Yeah. And it wasn't just like for me, I'm not that really deep in gameplay. Some people will say gameplay was better because some people like the plays. Like my friend said, he likes the, the plays that they do in college and when they used to do the option too. Um, my other friend said, um, I just like the whole atmosphere, the college atmosphere, atmosphere, whole thing of building, building up a, a program because you only get students for at the most four years and they, mm-hmm. they move on so it's like oh yeah i'm always getting a new roster i can work around i got work around oh who i got i love scouting to uh states it's not just a draft you know you actually scout players so i was like oh, i want to get this guy and like i gotta keep talking to him so i can he can come to my school and um i used to love enjoy those type of like um games within a game with that battle in other schools to get these top players. Uh, I wish they would make it so they can give money under the table. So, hey, I'll give you extra $2,000. <laughs> this car you can drive around. It's, 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 yeah, I got these hookers you can have. You know, oh, like they do. <laughs> just, I mean, that happened. That's happened. Uh, <laughs> but they can't, they can't do that. But anyway, hopefully, hopefully comes on PC. They can mod that shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just like you could, yeah, you could give these guys hookers. As That's for the blitz, the league <laughs> NCAA edition. But yeah, and, and I love, love the atmosphere and the stadiums, the bands and things in the nature. Going these different stadiums, like some of these stadiums be so small. Like it's like, man, it's not as big as like Alabama. Like I, I go try to build up a school that's small. Even though I wish they would have made where you can. Hey, can you like the Monday school gets money and they build a new stadium? Because I'm like, come on, like this, they got the small stadium with the people sitting in grass and shit. Like, um, <laughs> I was like, man, now like, my program is big. They would, they would have bought a new stadium by now. Yeah. They would have done something like that by now. Anyway, uh, took all the but, funds but, from the arts. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <yeah, laughs> definitely. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm excited because I do want to play some college and plus, it ended right before they did the college playoffs. Yeah. So so that was unfortunate. So now we got the college playoffs. So it's like, yes. And hopefully they make it so they can customize it. Like, hey, we add more rounds. Like, hey, we change things up a bit in that. Mm. That would be cool if they do that. But, yeah, uh, I am excited for it. But I, I know what EA is going to probably put into this game. Like, I've seen the advertisements in Madden. That it, it really ruins the game a bit, a bit for me. <laughs> yeah, but I can look past it. I can look past it and probably just go because, like, I got a new stadium for the. Um, well, I'm still playing last year's Madden because I was free on EA Play, so they're still the Redskins. So I got the Redskins. I put them in a new stadium, and man, those Pizza Hut advertisements are ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous these Pizza Hut, and I've seen. I'm looking Reddit for and say, "Hey, let's talk about this." And yeah, they are. Got you buying that Pizza Hut. Too. It is like, man, I'm tired. Like somebody said, man, I'm tired when I look at the Jumbo Charm, man. All I see is this Pizza Hut logo. Like, mm-hmm. can you show something else? Like, it's one thing. Okay, you have the advertisement. That's fine. But it should not be showing all the fucking time. Jesus Christ. Like, that is ridiculous that you do that. It almost made me think, let me go back to FedEx Field. That's like, darn, at least I have to see it that much. Damn. 
And I like somebody <laughs> said, I'm so glad that um Packer Stadium only got one Jumbotron so I don't to see that fucking piece of hut one too much. But they <laughs> angle it. They will angle those cutscenes. <laughs> so you see those that those logos. I say, man, y'all some that's some shit. I like for, for y'all to time, do what what 2K did when they'll just have it like when they show a player's name, they have that advertisement. Fuck you doing mm. that. I mean, I want to at least see like Jumbotron showing something up there, like funny. I like it, man. I like it back in the day with fake, fake ads. I love it when I used to play, um, what was the MVP? It was triple play baseball mm. where um, they would have like brought to you by some crab something. Like crab shake, it's something like something crazy, <laughs> like something made up Delicious. and like funny. Yeah, it, it's like it turned. I wish they would. I used to love those days, but God, you, I was like, you get so much money from Ultimate Team. Like, do you really need these advertisements, <laughs> man? Like, come on, like do one or the other. Take away, like, make it that shit not predatory, or give us advertisements. Then I mean, darn. Like you just want everything. You want you want it all or nothing. And then the game is not that great. That's the bad thing is, it's like, darn, you put all these advertisements. You get all this money for advertisements and the man ultimate team, but you don't really put it towards the game. It's like the game is like people say, it's basically copy and paste. And they ain't lying. They ain't lying about that. And that's not an over exaggeration. And it's it's pretty fucked up. And I mean, and then how the franchise mode is so bare compared to what I played on PlayStation 2, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense to be like that. The uh so I mean I hope instead of a it's just it's like I'm happy it's back. I'm just I'm also cautious. Cause I'm like, are they gonna just put as much work in there as the Madden? Or maybe they'll work harder because it has it's been gone for seven years. They gotta put a lot of work. But you know what? The, that first game. It's probably be the only one I buy for a long time because I'm going to feel like they're going <laughs> to stick to that fucking plan, that first game, and it's copy and paste it for some years. Or it's been and a long know, time since 2014, Dominic, so anybody that's still playing that doesn't know what Madden is nowadays, so you just get Madden, you slap a code at college on it, and you're good. <laughs> that's what somebody said. They just slap Madden um, up, like, and just put the college teams in there. But you know, the bad thing is, with, well, bad thing for them, for me, is that I don't care about getting a college game every year because mm. it's just co- I'm not getting for new what I'm getting for new players. Yeah, they're not real. <laughs> they're not not real. I never care. Like the only reason I got the college game, like at first I was an idiot. I was getting, but then I stopped. Um, but actually, no, I didn't get 2005. I skipped 2005. I think I skipped. The, I was playing 2004 for a while, and yeah, th- I think I even knew then. Like. It doesn't matter for me. I'm waiting for like a big improvement. So I'll look at magazines and said, what did it do different than it did last game? Some people said they added the hit stick or something. Though I like the hit stick, I wasn't, that's not a big game changer for me. So I was like, eh, no matter. Like when they start changing the, um, like college, well, it's not really franchise in college, but wherever the boat equivalent is called in that, um, when I saw the improvements on that, that's when I got a new game. Um, and that's where really what it is with these games. It's like I need something to see improvement as far as the single player element of it. I don't care about multiplayer, so if you chase on multiplayer, it don't matter to me. I'm not playing <laughs> that mode regardless. Yeah. I'm not doing anything with Ultimate Team. I need to see some improvement. If you don't, then that's all right. And plus with Madden, they got it so you can you can download um rosters. Cause that's what I'm doing on Madden to um 20 uh what is it what is this 2019 2020 uh madden 20 um i just downed the roster for 21 that's mm-hmm. all i did so it's it's fine with me the only thing is, is that uh yeah some of the uniforms are because they people got new uniforms so i don't have those but no oh well i mean i can i can deal with that we've but, talked yeah, about I'm it before hoping, it really just, feels like that's stuff yeah. that like they should do a game every other year and in that space they can do like an update pack where it's like Here's the new rosters. Here's the new uniforms for five bucks or something like that. But that's the yeah, exactly. Be a thing. But no, hell no. So <laughs> yeah, it's really a call. I'm cautious about this. Like I'm excited, but I'm cautious because EA. It's not like EA Sports has not been great with Matt and recently. So it's mm. like, oh man, I'm so happy it's back. But hopefully, it's good enough. Like when it comes out, it's adequate or, or at least good. That hey, I can stick with this for some years. Yeah. I'll be good. I'll be good for some years. 
unless they make a huge improvement to like the following year or the year or even the year after. Mm-hmm. All right. So, so what else we got, Dan? Before we move on, I just, world. A oh, real quick question for you in a world where isn't there like legislation in California about like pay, play, uh, paying, paying players and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but I don't know what bad is going to do. Are they going to okay. just have that? I could do no likenesses of nothing. Everything well, is that, be that's kind of my question is because, well, it leads into another question. Like I haven't seen NCAA branding on any of these announcements yet. What could they do with this game? If they didn't have that branding, can they go to each college and negotiate for team names and stadiums or something? Or is that something? Oh, all- well, well, that, well, well, that that's separate from players, okay. right? Yeah, that's separate. Uh, that's okay. And they already said they're going to have over a hundred schools in this. Okay. Yeah, they gotcha. already said that. So, yeah, the players see the players think from for me personally, I didn't know their likeness was in the game because right. I didn't. First of all, I wasn't a really big college. Um, I didn't watch college football when I first got two thousand four. I wasn't really a big college watcher. I watch it. But when I played against them, they had no names. They had a number. Mm-hmm. And I didn't look at them and see, like, hey, look like that guy. Yeah. I and just do saw, numbers uh, and stats equate to a likeness? Like, could they argue I that? I think it does. Hey, they, they, is... said, they said, they said, like, oh, because they have their, like, their attributes are similar. I, and mm-hmm. I always thought that was subjective. I was like, you can win that argument about attributes? <laughs> yeah, it seems odd because, you know, you can you can make. Someone in Madden, let's say, for instance, you could say that that, uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers is a 70 quarterback or something like that. And, <laughs> yeah. You know, if I if I put his attributes on, you know, if I make a 99 quarterback out of, you know, fucking Doug Flutie or something, I don't know. I'm trying to <laughs> that's my yeah. reference right yeah. um you know does that constitute him being tom brady all of a sudden like how does that work yeah I, that's what i'm saying it's that's why i don't i didn't understand that that's why i even recently i looked for evidence like it is a and i couldn't find it most of everything i saw was no picture evidence it was yeah. just an article with work like i wanted to see something physically Mm-hmm. Like, can you please somebody show me what did they mean by likenesses? The most yeah. I saw was about their tributes, and I think they said the players kind of look like like some players. They look like them. And, Where's and, this guy's tattoos? Show me that. And that's the thing. I didn't see tattoos. I don't remember tattoos. But I'm not saying it wasn't there. It's just that I didn't see it. I didn't. I figured they them just not having names in there. And I thought like, well, just because you have them. Oh, they have this guy like a certain quarterback rating that's pretty good. That's compared to what the real guy is. And I'm just thinking like, but that's isn't that subjective? Like, how, how do you how you regulate that? Yeah, you hear about these players every year complaining about how their Madden rating is too low. Like, yeah. <laughs> so what makes and, you, know, you think that that's you? And that's some players. Some players feel like they're being used. Some players don't because I see people who are like. Players out there saying, "Yeah, I'm excited. This is coming back." And one player was like, "Man, it this I just um now it's coming back, but I already graduated, like or something oh. like that. Like they're, they're bad and like you know, they, alumni they say, class. I, I wanted to always always be on the cover. He said I was a kid. I always wanted to be on the cover, but I already graduated. And I was like, yeah, um, some players didn't I mean, but you know, it all depends on your situation, though. So I'm not even gonna be like." Oh, these people didn't care, so that means nobody cared. No, I ain't gonna be that guy. Yeah. I know that some players, some players probably didn't care like about that because they were good. They had a future, you know, going to the league and everything. But some players they don't, and they felt like they're being used. And sometimes, I mean, you maybe you don't see you being used, but you were. But maybe it's not a big deal to you. But you yeah. got, but I, that's one thing I don't see them speaking out. And honestly, to me, I feel like. Even if you, you don't feel like you're being used, don't speak out against the people who did, I feel like. Right. And I yeah. haven't seen that really against. I mean, I have seen that from older players, but I haven't mm-hmm. seen that with some of the younger ones. So I, I was like, that that's really what it is. Um, But yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just, like I said, just curious. Um, curious how they do this. When And when would this come out? When would this game yeah. come out? That's what I want to know. 
I mean, I would I would think it would be this year, right? I mean, oh I, man, if it, if it is, man, good, good, yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> but they 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 didn't say it. That's yeah. the thing. They didn't say it 2021. I don't know. It just seems like a weird thing to not, you know, announce this far ahead of time and then not. But I guess at the same time, like it is such a big deal that you're making these arrangements again and, and coming back into these relationships with the colleges that, you know, maybe it, it warrants. And especially because the, the timing of this announcement was, I don't know what, like the day before their earnings call or something like that. So I could see them like, Hey, before this call, we got to get some good news in. So our stocks go up and everybody can be kind of happy. Yeah. All right, right. Dominic. Go go ahead. In some other news, as you were alluding to earlier, MLB news. It's official, Dominic. It's coming to the Xbox One. We haven't seen anything about the Switch yet outside of when they first announced that, you know, it was coming to multi platforms and Nintendo of America gave the little little eyes. Yeah, or PC. That's true. But, and, and. When I saw this cover at first, I was like, oh, this could be faked. You know, it's literally just the banner. Like, you can switch that out so I didn't send it to you immediately. And then, like, a day later, they were like, yeah, it's official. Um, So, yeah, it's coming to Xbox. It's going to have one-line cross-play. Awesome. It's going to have cross-progression. Even more awesome. Even more awesome if it came to the Switch and the PC. Um, And it's going to have Padres Fernando Tatis Jr. on the cover. Yes. as well so, as so a, like a local team because that's the San Diego Studios that make yeah, the game. That's true. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. Um, how familiar are you with Tatis? Is he top player? Well, well I mentioned I mentioned him on this podcast because they were when they were playing in the mm. um, COVID playoffs. He he was great. <laughs> he was great. Um, and okay, that season so he is for the Padres, gotcha. like with him, him and Machado. Mm. Like he bats, Could've, I think he bats a hit of Machado. Machado. Yeah, should've I think he bats Machado. a hit of Machado. Yeah, like, yeah, they they've been kicking butt up there. Like, I'm a fan of him, and I like that. Very nice. I like that commercial of him. But it, like, basically, he's like the attitude of like, this is the new game. Uh-huh. Like, with all those people all just like upset with the celebrations and all that stuff. He's like, oh well, and that that's how I feel. Because I was talking to my brother, and I was like, because he always said it. my brother, I mean, he played baseball when he was young too. Um, mm-hmm. and he's a baseball fan, not so much as he got older though, but he always said like baseball always felt like a stick up his butt basically. Cause like, yeah. like celebrations and stuff, like people didn't celebrate like they did in other sports. Yeah. Uh, it Let me felt flip like my it was fucking sacrilege. Bat, please. It's like sacrilege. And I always thought that's like, it's like baseball is like one of the hardest to hit it. It's one of the hardest <laughs> things to do is to hit a baseball and then yeah. you hit a home run. So I'm thinking, you should celebrate. Yeah. And then with the pitch, and then and and then it becomes like, oh, the pitcher's gonna get mad and hit. It, they need to get over it. <laughs> Grow the fuck and then, up. Like I, I know this. Like man, y'all got the right people playing baseball. That's all I'm saying. Because I'm thinking like there were certain people who play baseball, and you go just hit them. That bat's coming to with them on going to that mound. Right. And they're gonna be hitting. And, and, like I said, y'all got the right people playing baseball because. <laughs> I just, I was thinking, like, especially I know you hit me on purpose, just because right. I celebrated from him a home run. Yeah, that bat's yeah. going inside your head. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, like, I'm no nah, man, or, or like, I need charges. That's assault, man. I don't right. give a damn to sports game. That's assault. Yeah. Uh, just because you're petty bullshit, because you're you're mad that I hit a home run because you threw a fucking whopper down the middle or whatever. Like, it's not even. It's funny how these people celebrate. It's not even taunting. I can see if they like point at your stuff. Yeah, and then you you should penalize them for that. I mean, actually, I don't know how penalties work in baseball. I'm throw a flag at them or something. Yeah, I don't. Th- get a I think red they mostly card. just put out the game. I think they get put out the game most of the time if they do something really wrong. But yeah, yeah, I I, I mean, it's not taunting. Yeah, I, these people are just just celebrating. Like yeah, like you know for <laughs> what? It's like you can celebrate if you're a pitcher. Yeah, if you strike them out or something. Okay, then I'll go and celebrate. Damn. I see you doing an arm pump over there. You want me to hit you <laughs> yeah. with the ball because you did that? The arm pump is is just that. that people say that's the most you can do. You can do the okay. arm pump. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. It's just like whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, I, I like that you can celebrate. And I'm, they probably implemented stuff because even in the game I play now, 
on baseball. I like that they add in different celebrations. What I hate is that they make it so you have to buy that shit. Now, that's what's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. Like, they need to stop that shit. Like, I'm sorry. Just let me unlock it. Not that, like, oh, you accumulate these coins and you can use it to unlock certain mm. things. That's like the same coins I used to unlock, like, all the, well, their version of Ultimate Team. I forgot what it was called, but their version of it. It's the same course you use to unlock all this, all the other stuff too, like right. cosmetic stuff. So it's like, that's not fair. That should be separate. Like I'm playing a single player game. I shouldn't have to go buy some coins to unlock this shit. Now, the only mm. good thing is you can actually go buy the actual items and it's not a loot box, but I shouldn't have to keep like the longer I play, I get to unlock certain things. Like, come on, man. Don't do that. Don't be like that. Let that be separate for your online shit. I just, I just want to play by myself, but I want to have fun. Why do I have to spend money on me having animations or no. money on the announcer saying certain things? That's fucking crazy to me. For the announcer to say, like, it's going, 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 gone. I have to pay something yeah, that for him is to weird. say that. That is, that is ridiculous. We it's gotta like, pay it to Harry Carey's fucking. I really uh, need to know, like, something. are y'all really losing? Like, y'all really are like at the red or something when y'all make these games <laughs> that you have to, you have to do this. Like this, y'all really have to do this. Like, it's we, a really this lopsided can, deal. MLB gets most of the fun. Get out the red. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like we we're not making a lot of money from these games. We have to do this. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, yeah. dude, you got all these advertisements, um, like. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Like, are is, are you paying for Nike or Nike's paying you? I would think Nike's paying you. <laughs> so you got Nike, you got Under Armour, um, all those things, Rawlings, yeah. and, like all those brands in there. Ballpark uh, hot dogs. <laughs> so I don't know about that. Uh, but yeah, you're right, SKs. Sorry, that's the official one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Oreos. Yeah, <laughs> the Oreos, Oreos and SKs. <laughs> yeah, I was Terrible wondering, like, dogs. it's official for SKs. I was like, why are they so cheap? It's like why are these <laughs> why the official ones are cheap ones um, um that's weird but yeah um the but they, for the hey, common they taste, man they taste good they taste good at the ballpark yeah. i don't think those are the same dogs no they I mean, definitely are not <laughs> <laughs> nah those are thoroughbred dogs oh uh, but anyway y'all uh, it's they it is yeah i but i'm happy that it's coming to xbox like i can play up there my friend is definitely happy because he's been he hasn't played a baseball game for since MVP, basically oh, wow. 2005, okay. which was the last great baseball game for EA. And some people <laughs> consider that the last great baseball game, period. Um, I had the game before that one. Cause that's how he got MVPs because he borrowed my MVP 2004 and then he got 2005. Nice. And that what people say, like, oh, that was great. So, yeah, I, I do want it. Um, and you saying it being cross. Like um, you can transfer like saves, mm. I guess, between um, different. You can, tra- um, you can platforms. transfer all your bought emojis, down. Oh, that that's great then. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, because I would prefer to play it on Xbox and my PlayStation Four, mm. um, so I can because Xbox it's just easy to switch to my apps, easy right. to my TV apps, and I can pause my game without having to keep my PlayStation Four on. You know, while I'm watching something on my apps, which is through my Xbox usually, like mm-hmm. oh, I gotta keep this game paused when I can just um switch back and forth. It's just easier. It's just easier thing for me. Yeah. Um, in that and plus with the if I do want to watch something and still play the game, uh, because since picture and picture don't exist anymore, apparently yeah, you can just snap I, it to the side, Dominic. <laughs> I can just stream it to my PC monitor while I have my TV right. on my Roku, you know, and watch something. Mm-hmm. So that'll just make things easier for that. While PlayStation has that, it just that it's just that I have to plug in my PlayStation controller because I don't have a Bluetooth. Outlet. And then I want to keep switching my controller. But PlayStation 4 controller, it's harder to fucking, you know, uh, to... um connected back to my ps4 than yeah. the xbox controllers to connect and i already have a pc xbox controller so that's what makes it easier for that so it makes it it's just more convenient for me in that retrospect and then i can focus on on playstation while i can focus on these other games i didn't play on ps4 now mm-hmm. 
Um, do I have to focus on baseball? But yeah, yeah, I'm I'm very excited for this. And I I left the notes. So uh so what else we got, man? So in addition to that, just one last thing, there is also gonna be a collector's edition that has Jackie Robinson on the cover. Oh yes, that's that's nice. Even though I don't like that Jackie Robinson is gonna be on a very expensive cover. Um <laughs> that so I'm not gonna get it, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, and I wonder if he's going to be in the game. But somebody said, "Oh, they want to disrespect him." But I was like, oh, "Why is that disrespecting him?" Yeah, I was looking to see if they were going to do something like that, but I didn't see anything about it. Now, I don't understand how they disrespected him. You have other players in the game. Yeah, that seems I, weird. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if he's in the game or not. I, I was, but I would think he would be in the game if you're on the cover, man. Yeah. Now you have to pay for him to get him on your ultimate team. Because I feel like, well, then if that's the argument, somebody said that's to be disrespect. But I feel like, well, then I guess you could argue why is it why is it more respectful just to be on the cover then? And have <laughs> exactly. to pay have to pay more money. But no. But the good thing is they are donating. I think what a dollar yes. from that to the yes. Jackie Robinson yeah, um, yeah. like charity foundation. So. Yeah, foundation. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, a dollar. Eh, it seems whatever. <laughs> Especially cause how much it costs. That's the thing. Because um, it's more than 70. I know there's there's a couple of versions. There's one with a hat that's like $150. I think there's a $100 one. Show collector. Well, they got to get some money, Daniel. They don't get enough money from their predatory <laughs> um, fucking microtransactions. Tra- transactions. Yeah. 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 Oh, it also comes with four day early access as well. Yeah, that costs a lot of money too. Your early <laughs> yeah, access. So you gotta get those servers up early. Oh, so that's why I'm gonna donate a dollar. Uh, let's see. <coughs> I'm not seeing the price in this article. Thank you, Bleacher Report. Yeah, I'm gonna call you out because you don't have the information I need. Man, I guess because they can't have fans in the stadiums and some of these stadiums and um, basketball that they. <laughs> They have the Lexus car in like um, a space over here. I guess that's an <laughs> advertisement. The actual car. Nice. <laughs> it's, bought, it bought a box over there. Yeah, it's $85 <laughs> for the limited edition Steelbook version. So, And then $99 for the digital deluxe edition. And then the Jackie Robinson deluxe edition is $100, which I think is the one with the hat. Digital new see, wear hat. It's like if I was going to get a collector's edition, yeah, I would still want it to be you gave me a digital code because I don't want to use oh, yeah. a disc. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> give me all the physical stuff. Give me the give me the Jackie Robinson new era cap. Give me the fitted. Yeah. Give me the steel book, but also but just put a code inside that steel book. Yeah, I don't want to use a disc, man. Yeah. We, we live in a privileged time, Dominic. We'd fuck, her, fuck some discs. All right, so you got anything else before we get into this one last one? Yeah, I mean, no, 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 I had nothing else. All right, Dominic, there was a Mass Effect event this past week where they announced that the Legendary Edition, which is what they're calling all three of those remasters, uh, coming out May 14th and looking pretty good. Yeah, it is. Um, The improvements I saw um, from, like, the first one looked all right, even though... I don't like that they changed why they had to change the look of Eden Prime. They said they want to make it look more like the later games, but it's just mm-hmm. that why'd you take the red this of the land? I thought I actually thought it was red because of um the machine mean the um the Reaper. Yeah. I thought the Reaper made the sky red. I didn't think it was actually red. Uh but actually I wasn't really thinking about it. But I feel like you could have did that. Cause, oh, he, it made the sky red for for reasons. Um, but um, <laughs> it's, lighted it's out like, the sun. Yeah. But but no, it. I I mean, it's not like a full overhaul. But I'm, I'm hearing they they've done quite a few things. I'm trying to get to the game for an article where it shows you the exact improvements because they they got the cover story for this. Mm. Um, so they they've been talking about it a lot. Everybody's been talking about it, but they're gonna be talking about like more. So let me uh, see here. Um, yeah, this is it. Yeah, so I know the Mass Effect 1, they said they improved the 
improved cover for combat, um, improved the input and controls. I wanted to go put controller support. I think I heard them say that on the podcast. Look, I was looking at, but I wasn't looking at it, um, paying all too much attention to it. Um, I, cause I didn't even want it back. I mean, I didn't want it back. Cause I wanted to make sure, cause the guy was talking about how he didn't want to play on PC more and play on a console. And if somebody said in a PC version, you know, you didn't, for the first two games, you didn't have controller support. And that was true. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to go put controller support in the PC version. Cause I, I feel like they I have to, to. Yeah, they have to, Max. I want to play that. I don't want to play it forced on mouse and keyboard. Um, not this game. AI improvements on the game. I, I don't think I need that. They could still be dumb. <laughs> uh, they can use women to kill them. Uh, weapons overall rebalanced, removed class restrictions. Oh, they, oh, they removed class restrictions on weapons. Oh, okay, so they really make it me one not so RPG. I think they also take yeah. took out like the random number generator kind of thing they had. You know, like you might miss your shot, mm-hmm. and you know because it was like it was like a, it's, yeah. it was dice between, rolls between the stages of yeah, like RPG stage or action like action rpg they were kind of then between of that until they went full on like action rpg and two improved camera angles better sound design and and out of combat a complete world building real um world building pass across all worlds including lighting visual effects and audio so yeah it doesn't work and i heard it does some work on the mako um that it should run better uh i didn't read the article on it like how it will run better mm-hmm. um also saw like improved depth of field dynamic shadow improvements um a lot of lens flare shit um <laughs> even though some people, i heard some movie. people complain saying like it was lens flares in the original game so yeah but this looked like a lot more i, I didn't see it it wasn't it, i don't know i think it was but it just seems like this is a lot more lens flare which i'm not a I mean, it's whatever with me, but just don't be like, what's that movie? Who does lens flare all the time? JJ Abrams. Michael Bay? Oh, JJ Abrams. Okay. Maybe Michael Bay does it a little bit too, but yeah, like the JJ Abrams Star Treks, I think are the ones that yeah. people think of a lot. So you're going to get all the DLC except for Pinnacle Station, which is not a great DLC anyway. But they even have a whole article how like uh oh, it, it, the reason they couldn't get it is because of bad coding like it, the code the code is messed up like it's been damaged and they would have to redo it and they would take an additional six months they said to make it so and I mean and you're not missing anything Pinnacle Station was it wasn't nothing really it it really wasn't story the story wasn't um it wasn't really no story it was just like a a like mini games, like well, not mini games, but like a shooting gallery. Like it was like a contest you were doing. But yeah, you know, you can get all the DLC. I think you can, maybe you get all of those packs that you had to get individually, you know, from like certain products. Mm-hmm. I think you do. I think one of the podcasts I was listening to was talking about how like the Dr. Pepper one was. Yeah, but they all looked ugly to me. So yeah. I don't think that's a big deal. <laughs> exactly. That's <laughs> Eh, for the completionist than me, I'm like, all right, awesome. Yeah, but I never wear them because I'm not going to, I definitely ain't going to play the game 80 yeah. times with each, <laughs> with, like each playthrough. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I switch, I switch up, but it's like, um, yeah, I mean, we'll see, but no, but I'm, I'm happy it is all available in there. So I'm, um, yeah, I'm so excited for this. Um, I do like how they put that picture of, Miranda's ass in this article. I mean, damn. except I saw somebody on Reddit talking about how they're like changing camera angles to mitigate some of that stuff. No, I mean, I mean, games, yes, yes, that, that, that's right. You, <laughs> you need to, Daniel, because Absolutely. it was, we live in a different objectifying time. that objectified woman. Yep. <laughs> And also, uh, what's his face? And are they gonna smooth? So they gonna smooth her butt out too? So it can yeah. like it's not <laughs> no more old, crease. That the pants are not just. I mean, it's. It, I mean, looking at it now, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's fucking ridiculous. I no mean, more ridiculous the, um, than every superhero ever. You're right. It's ridiculous. I'm about to say. I, I don't know. 
who else has a butt like that? I mean, this uh, there was things, a while but, uh, where they were like talking about like Spider Woman covers and whatnot. That's like that. Oh, I'm sorry, Spider Woman. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Spider Man. Is that better? Uh, yeah, I mean, okay. Um, I mean that's that's bad too. I mean, it happens. But, though. Yeah, it it's, happens. Uh, but just like the sex bot. Well, what's her name? Uh, who's it, in the third I, one? A I L E. Okay, yeah, I can't remember. Ari? I'm, yeah, I forgot. A something. Yeah. Like, like her being what she is. I'm like, girl, put some clothes on. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can, but I was like, yo, this, come on. You can, but then you were like, yeah, I shouldn't. <laughs> I don't want this. But I know people are also excited about this game because of Female Shepherd, because they feel like she, um, you couldn't have her look all the way throughout the games because I think in the third one they default to something else. So oh, weird. they fixed her look. They also fixed the um, customization. So things look a whole lot better. But I'm Let's happy because see, like everybody yeah. else you made was ugly. Yeah. They and definitely seemed odd compared to the ready made The characters. default. And. Well, and for me personally, the female was just, I, that's the only one I did change. Cause I thought she was ugly. I thought she was ugly uh, from the start. So I was like, <laughs> this, 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 this lady's ugly. I got to make her look a little bit better. So she didn't look that great though, but I was like, it's better than what it originally is. But from the look, what I'm seeing here, it does look better, but I still going to change her up uh, mm. a bit. And I might even change male separate now because, well, I did change on one time. Like my evil shepherd was look different. But I was pissed because when I got to the third game, it's like, oh, yeah, this can't transfer over. I was like, you sons of bitches. <laughs> um, but the I might change him up a bit if they've done really a good job of like the customization in that. But yeah, she does look better in these pictures than what she originally did. Yeah. Mm. I like that look. And everybody liked her voice acting a lot better. Where, I mean, I thought it was good. Uh, I I mean, it didn't matter either way for me. Um, I had to play it again because uh, most of the time I play is male shepherd. I mean, it's just, yeah, that's just how I played. But I played female shepherd um, twice, an uh, evil one and a bad one. Uh, but, and uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, she does a good job um, with it. But I never, I just never got that feeling like how other people were really enamored with her. Like they really loved, loved that character um was it hail i know her last name's hail was it, yeah hail? she was yeah that sounds right because she was the one from uh what's that sci-fi one with the puppets she right she was in that maybe no i'm thinking of somebody else um that that was um farscape i was about to say yeah I, I did what was that lady in that's a chloe that Something was a chloe lady black yeah yeah maybe that's that's what yeah, but it, it is. Yeah, it is Jennifer Hale. Yeah, I just think most of the people are Canadian anyway, and they're just like Canadians. <laughs> they just have. Oh well, such she's Canadian American voices. apparently, so well, she's half Canadian. You know, that's. Well, she was born in Happy Valley, Goose Bay. So what the hell? No, that Canadian? sounds Canadian as fuck, though. Like, oh, that's definitely Canadian. <laughs> just look at them. Always got happy. Like yep. Happy Valley Goose Bay. Look at them. Just not Got happy, the nice words. people up there. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. But no, um, yeah, I'm excited to I'm actually excited to play this a little bit more now. I'm actually mm-hmm. excited to play this. It's sad because it's a game I played a, a billion times and I'm excited to play it again. <laughs> uh it but it's really good, I mean, Dominic. How much what'd you say? It just means it's really good. Yeah, it is. It's a really good game, and it's sad that they haven't done anything good since. And maybe this will have, maybe this will start it off that they will get You're right. Back they to need it. to this, add Andromeda to this collection, though. Yeah, yeah. It's just they this franchise. Like I, I mean, I talked about this, talked about this before. This is a huge franchise. Like they build a nice franchise that could have done many things. It had to just be the same type of game. What they've done is like is at the like it just went away at the Andromeda. Like they did drama and then it's like, what the fuck are they doing? What are they yeah. doing with this franchise here? So maybe this 
really got some fire up their butts, and now they're really going to be um, making some great gains from from this franchise again. All right. Uh, you got anything else? Oh, you got anything you want to say? You didn't really say much. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I like these games a lot. I don't have the same passion for them that you do. I mean, you've played them a million times, but I am well, excited it's fun, about. Well, it's funny. What's that? It's funny because wasn't you when we did the games of was mine higher? The, the what was it called? Um, no, no, it wasn't higher. Generation, um, generation, like of oh, the decade, millennia. Oh, the decade. Uh, yeah, no, it was the games of the decade. Um, you, I think you had that number one, and I. And I, I fought you, you to say no. Me. You don't deserve it. You don't have the like. You, like I said, like you just said, the passion. I have the same passion. I said, yeah, yeah. I was a gatekeep. I was a gatekeeper. I said, keep yes, you said, get out of here. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. No, I mean, be that, part of this. those games are incredible. <laughs> well, two specifically is incredible, and I and I did enjoy that series a lot. But it, yeah, I just don't have the same level of passion. I mean, you you're also somebody that'll play those types of games, you know, going through all the different choices, even not just Mass Effect, you know, the same with uh, Dragon Age and and stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah. And I see, I kind of want to play Dragon Age again because that's the new Dragon Age is coming <laughs> get out. That itch, Dominic. I kind of yeah, because I kind of want to play the one that I didn't like as much, but it was good. I mean, yeah. it's still I still think it's better than two Dragon Age three. Right? Well, they call it Inquisition. Yeah, um, but. It's it's still better than two, but it wasn't as good. And they, and they had so much DLC. I never bought any of it though. Mm. And now I kind of want to just get it again um, because I kind I want to play on PC. But see, I'm trying to wait to EA Play because I want to know how it was going to work. Right. I'm trying to wait to EA Play is on PC so I can just buy it, so I can have the base game and just buy the DLC. Mm. Or um, I know or some magic happens and the DLC be free too. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I that's what I really want. But hopefully, yeah, by the time I get even round to even wanting to play that game, because I'm gonna play the other two first. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, by the time EA Play will be on PC by then. So yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. But Mass Effect looks good. I mean, especially the graphical improvements. Um, it's one of those things where when you do it right, it's almost like you're not doing anything at all because in my head. That's just the way Mass Effect always looked. But when you look at them side by side, you're like, holy crap, they did a lot of work to that. And it looks very yeah. nice. I look at a film show. Yeah, she don't look ugly. <laughs> I remember her always. I remember her always look ugly, like to me. Yeah. I, that's why I always change. I say, man, that, that's why I, I picked the male. Because I, I think I was going to pick the female first. I was like, mm. I'm picking the female first. And I'm going to fuck that alien. Um, and then I was like, <laughs> uh, what? I said. Man, she looked ugly. Nah, man, I was gonna stick with the man. And I said I still was gonna fuck the alien, but then I was like, oh, I kind of like Ashley. Yep, I'm one of the ones who <laughs> love Ashley. And so I don't care what y'all say about her. She ain't racist. Nope, definitely I'm not. Specious. <laughs> <laughs> I like to call it space xenophobia. <laughs> or xenophobic or whatever. Yeah. She's nuanced, though. Like she's nuanced. Hey, yeah, you got anything else? <laughs> That's a, I'm just looking at this uh, Miranda man. This is <laughs> now is oh, you're distracted. Now we see why you were really into these games, don't we? <laughs> yeah, it's the discussion there. Oh, oh, let me see what they say. It says right here. This is from the Game Inform article. You also may have heard about the changes regarding Miranda's butt. The discussion there is simply reducing the amount of camera cuts that focus on her booty. Oh, there, come on. there were so many times when Miranda would speak when Shepard would speak with Miranda only to cut awkwardly just focus solely on her backside which had a tendency to break the immersion awkward for who about, I was about to say I think that's <laughs> I'm sorry yeah, just, just not lie here listen I know for some people it is but I never I mean not that I was like Jesus fucking like a, this fucking computer person but I just like Man, I, I always been like, man, man, he does all her butt. But yeah. I, I didn't think it lost the immersion, though. I think I was still very much in this world <laughs> still, because <laughs> I was at the, I was, because that is always swayed by decision. Like, oh man, am I fucking her, or am I staying loyal to Ashley? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what that's what it always came to be. <laughs> that's why you had to be femme chef so you could have sex with Caden, and then he just dies, and it's like, ah, fuck it. 
Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, wait, does Caden? Caden doesn't have to die, does he? He doesn't have to die. It could have been Ashley, right? But, 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 that, but it was hard for me to keep him alive because he sucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While a lot of people kept him alive, even though they didn't like him, they said, because, oh, but Ashley's a racist. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I just never. It's just funny because I never saw Ashley as racist. I played, like, I did, but when I played this game, I still was on internet forums like that. Yeah. So it wasn't until years, it wasn't until like a little after Mass Effect 2, until I started looking at people who talk about the game and talk about, yeah, but talk about Ashley being racist. And what? She's racist. I said, I missed this. I, I, didn't, I missed the part where she, she says the N word in this game. <laughs> and then I realized what they're saying. I say, oh, I thought that was just, I didn't see nothing wrong with her feelings. And then yeah. I just talked, I talked to her about it. Like, my shepherd wasn't like aggressive with um her anyway. Like she was wrong. Mm-hmm. I like understood for her point of view why she acted that way. But no, I don't get to that later. I'm gonna get to that later. We're gonna talk about that probably when the game comes out, which is May 14th. So it's coming out relatively, you know, first half of the year, yeah. which is good. So that's cool. Yeah. Uh, so anything else? That's all I got. Um, oh, hold on. Let me see this here. It says the character model will remain the same. So, okay. So we're still going to have the nice tight outfit that just really. See, they shows say that, the character model will say the same, Dominic, but they might mean the actual model and they're getting but rid see, of the, actually, the normal mapping or whatever that actually shows all the curves. <laughs> see, here's the thing with me, with, with her. It. She walked weird. I mean, a lot of these characters do. <laughs> Like, like they even Tali, like the way they walk. Tali's like, got backwards legs. What do you want from her? No, they make her still walk weird. She still don't walk like it. But with her, like how they walk, because everybody walks, they don't, they have the same kind of animation walk with a lot of them. Yeah. And she, when I see her just walking, it's like, yo, your body's not moving right. Can you, <laughs> can you fix that? Um, But they look like they're not going to change that. So it'll be awkward body movements and stuff yeah. like that. All right. So, you know, it's funny. Oh, oh, I mean, Leanna Rumpert wrote this article. I, I've seen her a few times. So I can mm. understand her feeling behind this. I I can I can understand her. Like, the way I hear her, yeah. It's because she said, like, it does take a story for her. And I, I can see that. I yeah, can see that. Absolutely. Uh, all right. So what else? Um. Oh yeah, they're not going to include. I think they they said they're not including the male sh- shepherd, Kate in romance. Really? In the first one? Wait a minute. So somebody says not including the cut, the cut male shepherd cross Kate in romance was a mistake in my opinion. Film Shep already gets the romance, him and the gay romance was clearly only cut to reduce controversy. Oh, they mean for the first game? I guess mm. it was in the first game initially, and they didn't. I don't think they put it in this new one. I don't think they put it in where you can romance them. Um, so that, I mean, I guess it's disappointing for the people who did want to do that. But I never like a can as a character. Like, yeah. I couldn't even do gay with him. He can go to hell. <laughs> and yeah, it's he just does. so bland. It's like, it's like he, he was does. a nice guy, but he was boring. Yeah, he's very like, bland. Like, the story... I mean, the story that it goes through with that game, with him talking about his time, it's just that it's a good story, but I feel like it it wasn't delivered really well to me. That I think that's mm-hmm. what it was. It, the delivery wasn't great enough for me, and uh, I just like, ah, uh, I sorry, dude. He seemed better when I saw him. I think I kept him alive in one of my playthroughs because I think I was the woman shepherd, and I, I let... Ashley died. So I kept Kane around and I was with um, Liara. But he is definitely better in three. Yeah. He's definitely better in three. Okay. All right. So um, that's it. That's all I got. New releases? New releases, Dominic. We got the big one this week for you with PlayStation Plus. Destruction All Stars for the PS5. Um, I think i've been seeing some kind of mixed stuff like okay but not super great not the next rocket league necessarily but still an enjoyable time so that's good yeah 
If you have a PlayStation 5, check that out. If you don't have a PlayStation 5, go on the website and download it anyway. So if you get a PlayStation 5, you can play it eventually for free. Uh, also, Haven is now out on the Nintendo Switch and the PS4. That previously came out on the Xbox and the PC. That's a love story one, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. with the little floaty combat stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's that one. And then we got the Neo shenanigans, which we had previously talked about. The oh, Neo yeah, Remaster, crazy. the Complete Edition. Neo 2, the Complete Edition. And Neo 2 Remastered, the Complete Edition. All come out the same day. Yeah. So. <laughs> this is... Well, because like one of them is like the complete series, like both games together, and then yeah. you can buy the thing, but then you get the upgrade, and it's all that messiness that actually isn't kind of messy, but it's extremely complicated to explain. So, yeah, if you're into Neo, you can play them on the PS5 now. That's pretty it's cool. also seems like a fun game, and you know what? Yeah, it's like a good free game. Like, and I think if you had to buy it, it's it would I mean, fall flat. But I mean, it's it free. would have to be cheap. I, yeah. I wonder, was it going to be a seventy dollar game? And that's what still amazes me—the thought that that would have been a launch title at full price, and that seems like a non-starter. So I don't know if they got lucky or if Sony just smartened up and was like, "Hey, we're just going to say we need to put some extra work into this, delay it, and then we'll just put it out as PlayStation Plus." Wow. Um. I don't know why I got this Wizards game still on. They're losing by 33 <laughs> points. Oh, Fucking man. Damn, in the third quarter. Jesus Christ. And it's look, only 11 three-pointers, Dominic. They, <laughs> they beat this team without Westbrook. I mean, they were like down I have a few men, a few men in the Wizards. Mm-hmm. And now they're just losing bad with everybody playing now. <laughs> man, God damn it. God damn wizards. At least put a guy like I don't expect you to probably win this game. I'm good. You splitting, but damn. Like this blowout? Good God. All right. All right, man. I got nothing else. All right. Thank you guys as always for listening. You can check us out on Twitter. Dominic is at D Stallworth5. I'm at Regulus MB. The podcast is at Superpod. S-U-P-A-P-O-D. Superpod.com is the website. It has all of the previous podcasts as well as links to all the places you can find us. iTunes, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, where there is a video version of this podcast, usually with gameplay behind it. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later. All right, see you.